Okay, guys, we are recording. Um, I just want to make sure everything's looking good. Let me switch back to Deus Ex. Okay, we are recording. So if you guys recall, what we were doing last time was we actually finished uh, the second visit to Hell's Kitchen in Battery Park. Um, but as we discovered, uh, it doesn't count us having saved Paul unless we go out the front door. And as far as I know, it is possible for him to die in that firefight there. Um, so we really have to watch out for that. So what we're going to do <clears throat> right now is... Actually, let's hold on and load game. So we have a hard save in Battery Park right at the end in case we have too much trouble trying to save Paul. So, boosh. Okay. Yeah, so that's the trigger actually for Paul dying is, well, either he actually dies in the game, I looked this up, uh, or, I mean, we saved him and we killed the MJ-12 troops that were, uh, Majestic 12, I should say, troops that were going after him, and I was like, okay, sweet, we, uh, we can just leave now, and, and he said he's he's got this, see, look, he's like, oh, I got it, I'm just gonna sit really strangely. That's not really what happens, so one thing we're gonna have to do is go ahead and equip these. Uh and go ahead and equip Yeah, the shotgun's fine. Um let's switch to buckshot. Oh wait, no. <clears throat> Excuse me. So since we have a hard save up where we need to be, uh, what we're gonna do actually. So we got our shotgun out, we have thermoctic camo, two of those. We've got some gas grenades. Um, okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and equip this. Oh, we mustn't forget to heal either. So let's go ahead and take care of that right now. Leg, arm. Or so, might as well. Six health kits, that's not great. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna make another hard save right here. The Ton Hotel. And we're gonna go ahead and quick save too. Get this headphone cable out of my way. Okay. <clears throat> now, turn. Oh, damn it. <laughs> okay, that was stupid. Okay, that'll, that should be fine like that. Alright, so. Um. Let's go ahead and all right now let's quick save because that's really what we want. Okay, so what we have to do is we got to go over here. Actually, God, those people are still at it. Hold it. What the? That guy's not supposed to be there. I don't know if you guys could tell. Okay, that sniper is the he's the problem. So we're gonna load game and we're gonna load. Okay, so. I think we're gonna try and sneak up on the sniper and take him out. Now Paul is gonna go ham on these guys. All right, so real quick, why did people keep shooting us in the head? For fuck's sake, dude, seriously. Um, okay, so we're gonna go to our inventory. We're gonna equip this. In. Apparently we're the only person in the world that they can shoot at. Okay, so we use the gas grenades to... Fucking Jesus! I'm gonna heal this, heal this. Let's get the hell out of here. Okay. All right, now here's the thing. We're gonna make another save, hard save, uh, right here. And we're gonna go ahead and... So we are going to turn on speed. Excuse me, why can't I activate it? Why is my... Oh, cause, okay, all right. So let's go ahead and use, let's activate speed. Let's go into inventory. Put on some, 
Let's go ahead and use. All right, now we gotta get the hell out of here. Stand where I can see you. They trying to kill you or something? No. Let's go ahead and check. What is the code? What is the freaking code? Um, so yeah, I had the right strategy last night. I just, it's kind of hard to get the right placement. 2627, I want to say it's 2627. Okay, actually, we're going to go to our, I think I had to do this last night too. Let's go to our conversations. Paul Denton. I'll be all right. Paul Denton, blah, 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 blah. 6282. Where's my pencil? There we go. <clears throat> 6282, just in case. Okay. You better get out of here. 6282. Okay. Oh yeah, I forgot. When someone's talking, we can't save for some stupid reason. 50 skill points. Alright, let's grab a soda. Oh shit, okay. Hold on. <laughs> Something, please people, do not forget to turn off your augs when you're not using them. Deactivate. There we go. And you know what, I think we're just gonna go so we don't jinx anything. Uh, let's just get the hell out of here. And we're just gonna go ahead and save again. So I think we actually did save Paul. Save Paul for reals. <clears throat> Question mark, because we can't know anything with certainty in this life. There is no escape. You will surrender. Another peacekeeping occupation? Not any better. They expect us to take you and Paul alive. <sighs> Sorry guys, just gotta hydrate. <clears throat> I've been quite parched today. Uh, go I ahead surrender. and surrender. You are the one who killed Agent Lavar. Now you will confess and pay the price. <laughs> Okay, so now we're in a uh, prison cell. We're gonna go ahead and make a save game. I think we did actually save Paul. So again, I had the right strategy. The sniper on the right, I didn't take care of him. He can actually murk you, like he can wreck your shit pretty fast. So you gotta watch out for him. <clears throat> and uh, the other thing was, I was just tired and fumbling with the keys and I, yeah. I think it's funny, you don't realize how much your uh, your reflexes are going to be Impacted <clears throat> I need you to escape. by fatigue. I can cut power to the door only a few seconds without being detected. Get ready. Like you feel like you might be fine, but it turns out maybe you're not. You know, when you're just like, oh, this, I'm not good at this. Okay, so how the hell are we going to get through here? Okay, this guard's going somewhere. I don't know where though. It's going down the hall. Alright, let me go ahead and make another hard save here. Um, this is also not one of my favorite levels. Lieutenant Jackson, a failed intrusion attempt into LabsNet or LabNet, has unfortunately scrambled other key systems, requiring most of the security grid uh, to be reset. Until the grid is fully restored, the detention block code, uh, block door code, has been Definitely reset something. to four zero eight nine. Right. I don't know why I'm having trouble reading again today. You know what I think it is? I think I'm a little close to the screen, so my eyes really have to move like a lot from left to right, and the text is very tiny. So we're gonna load this hard say or this this one. And we're gonna try and beat the shit out of this guy. Oh shit, no we can't. Alright, uh, we're gonna go here. I don't know what he's gonna do. If he goes back to his desk, we'll go knock him out. So, I noticed the camera likes to get stuck and you can't lean. It's very... It's very into doing that. I 
please. Okay, can I pick him up now, please? What the hell is that? If someone else is coming around the corner, I'm gonna lose my fucking shit. All right, so. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and make another hard save. Got to take care of that girl. Like I said, guys, I'm not a huge fan of the stealth in this game. I perfectly, uh, personally don't think it works very well. Uh, so, it's been reset to 408 now, while all detention cells have been reset to 4679. So, uh, 4089 is gen, and 4679 is cells. Uh, you'll be notified when the situation has been fully resolved, Agent Sherman. Okay, let's go grab some of this. Oh, I have enough of that. Okay, alright. You found a combat knife. Okay, I have enough of those. Multi-tool, very nice. Have enough ammo. Uh, let's get a okay, we got our stun prod. Let's go ahead and uh, combat knife. That's fine, right there where it is. Ten millimeter pistol. Pistol will move to four. This will move to six because we can just cycle to it, and then we're gonna move the con or the, the prod to two. Okay, so I have quite a bit of ammo for this, and I've got the thing in a combat knife. And uh, as you guys saw, I was trying to go for a no kill run, but I did need to just kill that fucking sniper pretty quick. Um, so I don't think we're. I mean, we're gonna try and stick to less than lethal if we can, but uh, I'm being a little less uh, hardcore about it. Uh, so cell 4679, okay. Let's go ahead and heal. Nice. This guy's dead. Oh, that sucks. You are the spy they caught, right? I never worked for the NSF, but my brother did. I think he was captured too. You're definitely not the only prisoner. I heard noises down the hall. Good. Maybe I can find him. <sighs> Let's get out of here. I smuggled in a knife and a med kit too. You want the med kit? Yes. Yeah, I'll <clears> take <throat> the med kit. What do you say? I think we can make it. Screw it, we'll take this guy with us. We got some hard saves. In case it's a bad, really bad idea. Uh, some soy food. I got you covered. Good. Right now, my skill with pistols is actually, I'm trained, so it won't be too bad, but. Um, I wish I could find the security panel for this. Oh, god damn it. You know, I don't like these MJ-12 guys. Oh, shit. Alright, let's just do it. Oh, shit. They killed my buddy. Okay, I wish I wouldn't get caught on every single fucking body. I'm a knife specialist. I trained for this. Look at that, that actually sort of worked out. Okay, so let's make another hard save. I don't know if that's the best place for us to be right now. Uh, hold on, let's go to health too and look. Okay, we only have one med kit, so that was probably not the best idea. Oh, we got an assault gun. We didn't find anything. Also, let's check our skills. Is there anything we can upgrade? 2285. We were looking into mastering low tech, so I think I'm gonna save most of my stuff for that. Some people might think that's a bad idea. Because I know that there's a melee weapon you get later in the game that does a shitload of damage, but it will do even more damage for us now. 
just want my trank gun, you know? <laughs> He's already getting pretty ripe. Don't find anything. Uh, auto shotgun, very nice. Am I trained on those skills? Uh, rifles. Rifle. Trained, okay. So I could probably use that. Probably gonna, still gonna suck at it, though. I have enough of that type of ammo. Okay. Let's just go over here. Let's go ahead and hack it. Just turn off whatever security we can we can find. If the stealth was just better in this game like it is in the, the prequels, I would be totally all for it, so... Turn off all the cameras. Turret status. Uh, okay, so we're gonna go ahead and log out. I would change the turret. We can try, it just doesn't seem to be giving me the option. I don't know if it's because my computer skill is so low or what. I don't know what the deal is. Gas grenade. Cigarettes. Oh shit, fucking dogs on me. Goddamn stupid dogs. Well, come get me, boy. Stupid dog. Don't find anything. Okay, so let's go ahead and quick save. And see if we can't deal with this, this guy up here. Damn it! Let's go ahead and eat these. Oh, we do have some bio cells though, so what I'll do actually is go ahead and do this. Activate this. And I'll activate this as well. Now we're moving fast, and we can take some damage. Gotcha. Uh, okay, that Anyone ballistic armor doesn't do anything, oh my god! Alright, let's go ahead and load game. Let's load the quick save, yes. Well, let's try the fucking assault rifle then. Any day now. Get this recoil, this is ridiculous. Okay. He's gone, not our problem. Well, they give up rather quickly. Not our problem. I like that work uh, ethic right there. See why I don't like this level, guys? Like, it, you know, if you're not trained for combat. Like, the stealth is so terrible, there's nothing you can do in terms of ranged stealth. Um, and I'm a melee build, but I need to get be able to get behind people or get up close, and it's just not working. You know? Uh, so, I don't know if this is, but we'll try the assault rifle. Um, actually, you know what? No, we don't have our stealth pistol anymore, so. Yeah, so let's go ahead and just do another quick save so we cleared out this room if we actually deactivated the camera over here I can't tell yeah we did okay so now we can actually use this bot um, we can just keep taking advantage of the fact that there's a healing bot in here and not have to waste our health kits save again. So bot maintenance, as far as I remember, I don't want to go down there just yet. Don't need that. There is a repair bot there. Let's go ahead and quick save again. I remember here. Hold on. 
I think, okay, so we're gonna make a hard save because I think I can start some, some mayhem here. If we can sneak up here, that would be most beneficial. Oh, that guy might see us. We'll use that later. We are trained, so we might want to start relying on that a little bit more. Uh, the melee might have been a big mistake. Yeesh. Shit, that was not a good idea. Okay. That works. Thank you, fuck everybody. Okay, let's grab this. Did I use that health bag? I did. Ugh. Oh well. <laughs> what would Deus Ex be without allowing you to royally fuck up absolutely everything? Like I said, I don't like the stealth in this one, so it's better to rely on combat. Um, what I'm gonna need is, I don't know, some sort of- I bet that I, there are augs, or I might start upgrading the aug. That, um, here's our augs. So I might start upgrading this or something because um, I, if I'm going to stick with melee, I need to be able to soak up a little damage while I'm in combat. So, Janny's Bot Specs and Overview. Page Bravo 3 Peacebringer. The Page Industries Bravo 3 Peacebringer is an affordable security and patrol bot that combines a bipedal frame with an air-cooled minigun that utilizes the 7.62x51mm NATO round. That's the 308 for you other guys. Well, I guess they're technically not the same, but... It's the same dimensions, uh, but 308 loads are just a little bit hotter. So, um, from what I understand, you may not, you might not want to fire 308 out of a out of a 7.6251 gun. But I don't know. That's just what I heard. I haven't looked into it yet. While the AI is limited in its capability, it is in capabilities that is more than adequate. Uh, to the needs of most security and many military forces around the world have been deployed in such trouble hot troubled hotspots as Hong Kong, Chicago, New York, Buenos Aires, New Delhi, Moscow, and Paris. Like almost all bots designed to maneuver in urban environments, the Bravo 3 employs a radar imaging system for situational awareness, but unlike the previous models in the Peacebringer line, the Bravo 3 is now equipped with a razor thorn signal processor for target acquisition. Organizations or facilities in need of heavier bot armament often turn to the large Delta II Peacebringer equipped with thicker armor and missiles. Sorry, I thought I heard someone walking around and I was like, oh shit. I think one of the things to remember about Deus Ex, the first one, is that if you start screwing things up, it's not like the entire base is going to come down on you, most of the time. Okay, there's still a guy alive downstairs. Apparently he didn't get the memo. Okay, so, let's go ahead and check that this data pad. Hey Martin, there's been some kind of security snafu. All the codes have been changed until further notice. Blanket orders for a new guy I haven't... From a new guy I haven't seen before. An agent of some sort. The new armory code is 2971. Okay, 2971. Armory. But don't let it get around. Uh, just wanted you to have access in case the bots get twitchy again. The last OS, uh, OS upgrade seemed to be a bit shaky. And that makes me nervous when applied to walking gun platforms, Peter. Hey guys, I don't know what's with me and reading tonight. My mouth is pretty dry. It could be that. I don't know what's going on. All right. No email today. Okay, sweet.
What does this button do? Let's go ahead and turn the bots to our side. Bot AI alteration. Security. Haha, <laughs> there we go. I think the bot- I don't know if they're on our side or if they just kill anything now, but at least they... Alright, so... What does this button do? I'm curious. Raises that platform, okay. Oh, friendly, nice. I wish I could get more of the bots, uh, like all of the bots in the in the facility on my. Oh, those are still. Okay, better not wake any more of them up. Shit. See if this guy's got anything we need. Just a multi-tool. Got a sniper rifle. The bot's friendly, so let's go on downstairs. Let's make another hard save. Hey, buddy. I don't like that use uh, puts your weapon away, because sometimes you're trying to just click on stuff and then uh, you just put your weapon away. So. Get a multi-tool. Yeah, we should. I wish it changed the AI for all the bots. Now, if you wake them all up, it might. I don't know. Got a bioelectric cell. That's good. All right, so we're in the bot maintenance. Okay, that's cool. So let's just go ahead and oh, wrong button. Okay. A crowbar. Yeah, I know, guys. We can go beneath the floorboards, but I'm kind of getting sick of the sneaky, sneaky gameplay. And if Deus Ex is not a game where if you're getting tired of a playstyle, you should continue. It's definitely a game where it's like if you're getting tired of a playstyle, just switch it up, do something else. Let's go ahead and heal. Thank you very much. I love you, my little bot friend here. This is pretty devastating, I bet. But we're gonna stick. This seems to be doing pretty well. I almost want to get more training in this. Oh shit. Oh, shit, shit, fucking god damn it. Shit, I'm so fucked. I'm so fucked, guys. Oh shit, 10 more seconds! God damn, the stupid fucking putting the book. God damn it, fucking bitch! Oh great, my fucking. No, that was not what I wanted. Okay, we're, we are loading a quick save or something. That was awful. That was the last thing I wanted. We're going to move quietly because it sounds like they maybe heard us jumping around or whatever. Also, I should try and use the assault shotgun on those guys. <laughs> Please heal me. Okay. 
Let's try a new hard save. Like, guys, keep in mind, I'm only playing on normal, right? But because it's an RPG, because it's like sort of a stealth game, sort of not, there's gonna be issues, and no offense to anybody. I'm still really enjoying myself, but I am sort of remembering it. God damn it, fuck. Come fight my robot, buddy. Come on. Come on, buddy. Hook me up. What the fucking... Nice. Okay, so I was just bitching about Deus Ex. I know, guys, but... Deus Ex... Deus Ex giveth, and Deus Ex taketh away. Or vice versa in this uh, instance. Um, just switching up my strategy, saying, Hey, I switched the AI on one of these fucking kill robots. Why don't I just use him to my advantage? And, you know, I can keep just drawing people in here. And that's a viable strategy. We may, it may be the strategy we just use. I like it a hell of a lot better than what I've been doing so far. Alright, so that's a new hard save, because we just took out an MJ-12 dude. Let's reload this gun. I think the reload time on this is, I looked it up, it's like six seconds, it's ridiculous. Okay, let's go here. Uh, skills, so another to get advanced in rifles, which might not be bad. 3150. Hmm. It's really like... You, they don't give you a lot of XP in this game, so you really gotta be smart about how you do this. Yeah, thank you. You guys drove me nuts. So they said Paul's to the south. I believe, right? I'm gonna hide here with my buddy. Uh, let's go ahead and go. Goals and notes. Uh, find your brother and access information in his data fault. The trace of time the needed for the the kill switch. Okay, uh, we're gonna go conversations, data list. Laboratory to the north, but, so the... The armor is to the south, so we're gonna go grab our stuff first. Through clever use of our Uggs, and using our friends for killing per- Oh shit, don't fuck with this guy. That's the armory. You know what? Screw this guy. Let's try it again. Well, that's horse shit. Need a gep gun to get around him. Well, he's definitely damaged, so we'll see what we can do here. Chipping away at him, I guess. Don't want to waste all my ammo on him, though. Okay, what is it? Four zero eight nine. Come on. Let's go.
we could get our hands on a Gep gun, then we could maybe deal with that jerk. What do we have in our inventory? We don't have any lambs or anything either, because that might help as well. Is there some hidden down here? No, no. Oh, there's two of those assholes. I forgot about this. I don't know if this is the best use of resources. You know what? Hold on. This seems like a waste of time. So we're gonna load our quick save, where we still have all this ammo. And what we're gonna do, I'm pretty sure there's probably a security office or something like that where we can turn those bots against each other or use some turrets to destroy them or something. There's something we can do against those bots, so we're gonna try that. And I just want this open. So we don't have to worry about that. So we're going to go ahead and quick save again. And we're going to start making our way through these labs. And you know what? I know it was on a no-kill run and all that stuff. But I think now at this point we are just uh, going ham. Actually, you know what? He's green. So I'm going to talk to him. Or he doesn't want to talk. Okay. Scientist. Stormtrooper. 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 Uh, just a bunch of scientists. Seems okay. City's in the lab. I turned off most of the cameras. Another med bot. Very nice. That camera has been bypassed. Here's those weird things. She's a nice lady, I guess. Let's talk to her. Don't worry, no one here is going to call the guards. You better not, because I'll feed you to those dinosaurs. I forget, I gotta, let's read some lore, because I have no, I, I played this game before, I have no idea what those things are, and why they're here. One tool, you know, I bet you there's a key. Walton Simons, data vault. Oh, sweet, they opened this for me, just by walking into it. Another data cube. Here's that grease all day section you wanted. Dr. Vern. Nice. Trank darts. The lifeblood of this game. I talk to this I'm lady? in the middle of something. What this guy? Get out of the way. We have enough to worry about. Trouble with the bots? Of course. Just look. Only one is operational. And now it's malfunctioning. I guess that Maybe would somebody hacked the security system and took it with its programming. I wonder who it could have been. I think it was you. You don't exactly blend in, okay? I think you're the one they caught, and now you're trying to escape. So, you gonna sound the alarm? Maybe we can swing a deal, huh? You want the security login? 500 credits. I also have 762 millimeter ammo for 600. Or what about an accuracy weapon mod? I definitely want the login. Here's 500. Tell me the security login. Okay, we have a deal. The login is MJ12. The password is Invader. As maybe you've discovered, you can use the computer to tell the one operational bot to attack the soldiers. Thanks. Nice, but that didn't help me with this. That's no matter, I'm sure I'll find it somewhere. Lab notes, Dr. Mor <coughs> <coughs> oh, sorry about my Rona, guys. I don't actually I don't actually know if I'm infected or not. I, I don't think I am. If I am, I'm a largely asymptomatic. I do cough occasionally. Dr. Moreau, in case you guys aren't aware, the, the island of Dr. Moreau is a story about a guy who's splicing animal genes and human genes together and creating abominations and anyways. Sunday, 412, lab, lab net accounts are disabled. Rumor is possible infiltration attempt by silhouette required distribution of secure network resources. We'll transcribe lab notes by hand until IS has restored access. 
Monday, 413. Greasel's displaying an increasing level of antipathy towards uh, towards lab personnel. Noted Dr. Vern who increased dosage of Sakinyl chloride from 15 cc's to 32 cc's. Wednesday, 4.15. IS promises that lab net accounts will be restored by Friday. New login is D Moreau. D Moreau. With a password, Raptor. Okay, Thursday 416, Dr. Cairns typically, oh, Dr. Cairns typically absent-minded, forgot his protective gear when handling gr a greasel, received a dose of venomous spit in the face, fortuitous opportunity to study effects on human nervous system which included impaired coordination and vision. Okay, so I don't want to, I don't want to go toe-to-toe, -to -toe. I don't want to mess with those greasels and I, if I can avoid it, so we're going to go into demo row. Okay, oh, I don't think I want to do that. So open the containment field for a new augmentation canister. What does this one do? Huh? Oh. Uh, can add aggressive defense system or spy drone. Can be installed to help of medbot. Okay. What did it say? Aggressive defense system. All right, let's go ahead and save before we install new augs, always. And then just go in here too. So we can release the greasels on the lab uh, workers, but uh, then we have to contend with them as well, and I don't know if I want to do that. <gasps> suppose we could have jumped up into these vents from the boxes there if we wanted to. Once again, another way in, but uh, we already killed everybody. And you know what? That's the way I want to play Deus Ex. I'm, I'm, I'm tired of sneaky sneaky, especially since the stealth sucks. But that's okay. So, uh, aerosol nanoparticles are released uh, upon the detection of objects fitting electromagnetic threat profile of missiles and grenades. These nanoparticles will prematurely detonate such objects prior to reaching the target. The range at which the incoming rockets and grenades are detonated is short. Um, that's probably better. Advanced nanofactories can assemble a spy drone upon demand, which can then be remotely controlled by the agent until released or destroyed, at which point a new drone will be assembled. Further upgrades equip the spy drones with better armor and a one-shot EMP attack. Tech 1, the drone can take little damage and has very little, very light EMP tech. The drone can take little... Medium? Hmm. Here's the thing. I'm, that's obviously what this is for. I could use that AUG for both of them. I could try a head-on attack or at least just run past them to get into the armory to grab my stuff. Could try that, of course. Um, I'm talking about the bots in the armory. Or, I could use the drone to continuously go after them. I just don't know. Now, with repair bots and everything, I'll have a surplus of bioelectric energy so I can just sort of chip away at them. And I haven't used the drone very often. But, I don't know. I'm trying to determine which one would be better. So, I'm just going to make a hard save. Uh, another AUG save. AUG 3. And we're going to go explore more of the labs to see if we can find Paul and get his data vault stuff. Actually, I don't know why I went through all that. For reals, guys. Oh yeah, I have the jumping ability now, so I don't have to deal with some of this annoying crap. Let's go ahead and activate. Nothing here. Okay. There's something over there. A little quick save here. an enemy? Hold on. I'm just gonna knock her out. I don't want to kill her, but MJ-12, I'm fine with killing them. That's fine. Okay. 
Okay, so it's MJ12, and I think it's, what is it, Invader? Where is it? Yeah, Invader. And I hear people coming about to die, I'm sure. Who the hell is running around? Okay, let's try this. MJ12, Invader. Okay, fuck you too then. No email today, alright. What a waste of time. What the hell? Is, there's like doing a lot of weird genetic experiments in this kooky place. Already have one of these. Don't need another one. Here's a data cube. Captain Hernandez, we're in the process of ghosting all network security resources to provide additional protection against possible intrusion or denial of service attacks. Until this process is complete. Hey, find somewhere else to hide. <laughs> uh, until this process is complete, all security computers will be utilizing a temporary system. Login MJ12. Password invader. I put that in. What's your... These guys, I swear. I'm gonna pick that one. <laughs> okay, the lean isn't working. Oh, shit. I hope uh, Paul is not uh, mad at me. The fuck? Okay, I gotta read that in a second, but there's some serious shit going on out there. What the hell's happening? Paul, are you alright? What are they doing to you? I'm like the Russian researcher who contracted his own virus. Now they want to study the way I die. I hate to interfere with science, but we don't have much time to get you to trace her tongue. You go first. I'll slip out on my own. You sure? Just take care of yourself, and do me a favor. Check in with Alex when you reach Unaco level 3. Some of those guys are on our side. Alright, but you better make it. I have some business to take care of in Manhattan. See you in Hong Kong. Down one one two five MJ twelve exit. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, yeah, I don't think I need to go up there. I mean, I might check for some resources later, but let's go ahead and heal up and maybe get some augs installed. I haven't decided yet. Surgical pre-evaluation, subject Paul Denton. Subject shows, subject shows a number of dis departures from nominal baseline physiology, including a noted absence of H-type epsilon immunoglobin proteins, which would seem to be related to its ability to tolerate nano-augmentations that are typically rejected by the vast majority of the population. Of particular interest is, the subject tests, is that the subject tests positive for the gray death, yet shows no apparent symptoms or adverse effects. Huh, interesting. Paul has the gray death. Some ambrosia here. Uh, prospectus, Series P Agents, uh, proposal by Dr. Arthur Donovan, VersaLife slash HK. The Series P Agents are the logical continuation of research resulting from the Series N, the development of a human agent with enhanced capabilities and absolute loyalty, but without the non-standard appearance of mechanical augmentation or the unpredictability of nano-augmentation. Like the Series N, the strength and speed of the Series P should be... Sub Series P should be substantially above baseline with new conditioning techniques. While new conditioning te techniques will result in minimal pain response, we conservatively predict a Series P agent should would be 78% more effective in combat than a normal operative without any form of augmentation. Key features from the Series N agent will also be carried over, including the self-termination mechanism. Any ingenious variation on the kill switch... Oh. 
any oh my god I think it's the super tiny text guys an ingenious variation on the kill switch the self-termination mechanism is wired into the autonomous nervous system of an agent if mortally wounded the mechanism will activate and explode eliminating any evidence of the agent and damaging nearby damaging nearby hostiles however we are still continuing in our attempts to isolate the source of the albino traits present ever since the series L but so far the simple addition of sunglasses and dark clothing appear to have resolved the matter in practical fashion <laughs> Also, they're talking about the, the agents. So apparently, we're harder to control than nano-augmented agents. And those guys, um, they appear to be sort of nano-augmented as well. Or they're like replicant humans or something. Something like that. Still have no idea why they're making the Greasels. I think it's just, you know, to sort of point out that they're, they're doing like nefarious uh, genetic engineering here. Yeah, I don't think there's anything in here that I need. Still don't know what to do about the AUG. Oh, did I even search the other guy? And I didn't search the secretary either. Yeah, 762 ammo, very nice. Alright, so the last thing to do down here... Let's go ahead and... Let's see our goals and notes. Uh, find in your brother. That's completed. Okay, find the equipment take taken from you. We got okay. So that's the secondary objective is to try and do that. Oh, I got a charger. Thank you. Give me my shit back, or give me some of your shit. Security terminal. Let's see. MJ12 Invader. Okay. We're going to go ahead and turn this camera off. Oh, we're not going to unlock the door. Lock the door. Ah, don't worry, little lady. I've got the keys. Okay, I really wish I knew. My goodness, Mr. Denton, did you escape? Yeah. How do you know who I am? I'm a prisoner too, and I say your name every day. I have cells from your body and culture. Your brothers too. Do you know Paul? Only from his disuse. The guards want me to figure out why your bodies tolerate the nanites. A damn hard question, I'm sorry to say. Do me a favor, play dumb. They know enough already. I try. Oh, how I try. Maybe you can slip out when I open the main doors. I've already been shot once, thank you. But good luck. The only code I can give you is 0199. That's to the medical area. I was already there, but thanks. Okay, sweet. See, here's the thing. The missile defense system would be great because if I'm caught off guard, um, then, you know, I don't have to worry about taking as much missile damage. By that same token, though, being able to send in a little bot to uh, EMP blast the fucking robots would be pretty cool, too. So, actually, we're going to go ahead and save um, again. I'm going to try, because this one sounds kind of cool. We're gonna try it. If it doesn't work out very well, then we're gonna go with the other one and then just try and make a run for it. There should be a gep gun inside that we can temporarily use to take out those bots. Okay. So, it looks like that's pretty much the, I See, this level the first time I played it seemed a lot bigger because I kept getting lost and I was like, oh my it's so hard but um it's not i don't think it's that big actually well i don't know what's on the other side of that door but i believe honestly that just goes straight into the bottom of Unaco. so don't think it's actually that 
labyrinthianly big. Should be good. Let's give it a test. I'm gonna go ahead and activate. It is so slow. I don't think I thought it could be faster than this. Okay, that was way. We're gonna go ahead and load the save. Seeker MJ12. We're gonna load this. Let's put in the other AUG. Yeah. That was too awkward to use. I don't feel bad for testing out the AUGs, too. I mean, that's kind of the whole thing. Like, you need to know. What's going to be worth it, what's not? I'll try the EMP grenades again, maybe closer range. not working at all. Hmm. Still gonna go with this one just because the other one is that shit. But, uh. What are we gonna do? I think the only way to do it is to wait till they're. And also, I need to know the code. The armory code. Is it 628? No. What is it? What's the code? We just wrote it down. Hangar, med area, exit. Armory, 2971. Okay. We don't have any more thermoptic camo. Tell you what. I don't know if that was a... that kind of sucked. Oh my god, what? who keeps closing this fucking door? Drive me nuts. I keep opening it for a reason. <laughs> There's only a couple things in there that I might want. I used most of my gas grenades. I already have my combat knife and baton and everything back. I think it's just the mainly the XP that I'm trying to go up here for. 
go ahead and save. You know what we can try? We can just try waiting for them to pass. And I don't think they turn around. I think they both go in the same direction in a circle. So then we can get inside the, the armory just by sneaking behind them. And then uh, just into the door. Which is boring, I know. I'm not really that interested in doing that. Because once again, if it's not like Thief with the uh, reliable stealth mechanics, I'm not that interested in going stealthy. guy's gonna turn. Alright, looks good. Let's go ahead and quick save. If there's a door over here, that would be fine. What is it? It is 2971. It's definitely someone. I found your equipment. Where's the security console? There's got to be a security console here. Here we go. Nice. Security. Camera off. Enemies. There we go. Once again, without stealth options, getting to this without raising an alarm or killing the guard or him seeing me don't doesn't really work. So, no idea what that is. Prod charger. I think if we pick up a second riot prod, yeah, it just adds to the ammo count, which is nice. Weapon modification. Mini crossbow. Okay, hold on. First of all, drop this piece of shit. Mini crossbow. Thank you. 30 out 6. Darts. Flare darts. Explosives. You don't have. I don't need any more of that type of ammo. Okay. Napalm. Oh, if I play through this game again, I'm gonna go heavy weapons and rifles for sure, and I'm gonna play it like a shooter and use the flamethrower and just kill everybody because that's gonna be awesome. Stealth pistol. So now I can get rid of this stupid 10 mil pistol. Drop. Stealth pistol here. Sniper rifle could be more useful. Plus, we've got the otter. Yeah, I'm not gonna pick up the sawed off. Fuck that thing. Some more buckshot. Okay, so we've got 0199, 1125, 2971. Mm, we don't have a code for this one yet. Could 6282. I don't think that's the right one. No, that was for the subway. Okay, so. Hmm. Let's see. Sniper could, yeah, it could come in handy. Um, oh yeah, we got some weapon mods. So what is this? Range. Uh, let's see the range right here. Range, max range 100 feet. Anchor range 50 feet. Maybe the trink, I don't know. We may get, we may start moving away from this gun. So what about this one? 150 feet max range, 300 feet. 300 feet, 600 feet. I don't know. We'll hold on to that range mod. We may need it. Okay, a silencer. Oh, you know, a silent sniper could be fucking awesome right now. Or a silent one of these. Ooh, that's a tough one. Hold on, I'm going to drop these. This. I think they're called stogie cigarettes. Um...
I'm gonna hold on to that. Because I don't know. I'm gonna hold on to both of those mods. I'm not sure yet what is gonna be more useful. Um, combat knife. We already have one. I don't need any flares because that's a waste. Soy food. Stealth pistol. That's fine. Now, hold on. Did they give us back my mini crossbow? No! God damn it, I wasted all those weapon mods on that one mini crossbow. Unless it's this one. Nope. Oh, here we go. 85. Yeah, that's mine. And they replaced it with that one. Okay, good. It would have been. That would have been really, uh. Really fucking awful. Pepper gun, it might as well. Scramble grenade. Ballistic armor, bioelectric cell. I'm not gonna keep grabbing those because I think I already have max ammo. So, accuracy mod. I don't need a hazmat suit right now, I don't think, so I'm not gonna mess with it. Thermoptic camo is nice, so. I'm gonna go ahead and use this. Healed zero points. Grab my thermoptic camo. Gas grenade. Multi tool. Binoculars? Maybe, but I have, a, I have scoped everything, so I think that's a waste. This is a tough one. What do we get rid of? Maybe this pepper cartridge. Yeah, screw that. I have other ways of stunning enemies. Plus, I've already broken my one rule. I only have one rule. And I've already broken that, so. Right, pride. Excellent. Okay, we've got 10 ammo for this damn thing. Very nice. Mini crossbow. Let's go ahead and put it here. Four and three clips, quote unquote. Okay, 7.62 ammo, 7.62 ammo. and reload this. The ballistic ammo seems basically useless. Let's make sure we do have a stealth pistol. Yeah, we do have a stealth pistol. Oh, yeah, it's in our inventory. That's fine. I mean, our quick bar. Don't need wine. Don't need soda. Ooh, I can always use a lamb. For sure. So if there's anything I can drop... These scrambler grenades seem stupid, but maybe, you know, I'm sure I'll find a use for them and then I'll be like, oh, if only I hadn't given up my scrambler grenades. Are there any augs I want to upgrade? Don't care about this. This, meh. This could be useful. This could be useful. And then I did upgrade this. Speed and jumping are increased moderately. We'll fall in damage. It would be kind of cool to have tech four for legs. I could just jump off of buildings, and, you know, run super fast. That would be pretty cool. Once again, I don't even know what to upgrade right now. Range, accuracy, silencer. I mean, the, the silent sniper would have more utility, I think, overall. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make a save. Secret MJ12 facility. Let's go call it weapons. And we're gonna go back in here and we are gonna put that on the sniper rifle. And I'm gonna go ahead and put this here. Oh, nice. Okay, so it's got the fucking silencer on it now. Let's just reload it real quick. Pick up the lamb. I think that just about does it for us in here. Uh, okay, 
Sorry, just checking. I don't want them to swap it out. 762 ammo. And this is a law, uh, but it is one use only, and I don't I'm not a heavy weapon specialist, so not the best idea for me. I'm gonna keep this one out right now. They said all the new computers in the facility have been changed. Oh yeah, I didn't break into the thing upstairs and grab it. I wonder if it's the GEP though. I don't know what that thing is upstairs. Okay, the code for the security container is 5239. Alright. I wonder what's in there. Well, I mean, we'll find out soon. 5239, what is this though? Don't need that. Is there something under it though? No. You know what? We are gonna do this. We're gonna go ahead and make sure there's nothing that we're missing around here. I think 30 out of 9 is max ammo. And we're good on buckshot. And we already did that. Okay, so. What was it again? 5239. What is this? Plasma rifle. Seriously? I hate how the you have to worry about the orientation too. Alright, let's go ahead and drop this too. I just want to see what it does. Oh, that is pretty fucking awesome, but that seems like a heavy weapon, so unfortunately I'm gonna have to drop it. Uh single blah 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 blah. Yeah, weapon heavy. Alright, so my next playthrough of Deus Ex, I will absolutely grab that one. Salt shotgun, this, num 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 num. Uh, that should be everything I dropped, right? Yeah, I think so. Okay, well. I think we're gonna have to stick with those decisions. I wish the game, like I, I said in a previous, uh, that it's gonna get annoying. When I just need to use a button and I miss the, miss it. Oh, it puts my weapon away, that's super annoying. Okay, 100% health, 100% everything. Let's get the hell out of here. Let's go check our goals real quick. 100% completed, great. Hopefully we get some serious XP for this. Oh, actually, let's go ahead and trigger right now. So 2935. It would be nice to upgrade a rifle, that would be pretty badass. Um, and be advanced in that, and then I think electronics ultimately. Computer, don't care as much about. But that could be nice as well. So advanced in these two and then maybe master um, one of these others, I don't know. But I just, I doubt we're gonna get that much XP. We're actually sort of close to the halfway-ish point. Um, so I just I have no idea how many actual XP points we can expect to get from here on out. Can we grab any more? Yes, we can apparently. 
Okay. What was it? One one two five. Another save. We're gonna go explore some Unaco stuff. I don't know what the fuck is going on, but we're gonna go ahead and load our quick save. Or, uh, this one. I forgot, we're going lethal, but now we have a silent pistol, so let's do that. And we're trained on pistols, so. Should work out pretty well. That was horseshit. Why do they take so much damage? Or why is it so hard to kill them? Well, guess what? I have to go back here, back to my little medbot friend. For the millionth fucking time. Interesting bullpup pistol design. It's like a bullpup Glock. Oh, yeah, heal. This is a lot. I mean, yeah, we went in sort of guns blazing and made a hell of a lot of noise, but um, whatever. As you know, like, I'm not good at dealing with the AI in this game, because, like I said, the not good stealth mechanics. Really? What part of every terminal did I misunderstand? I actually switch to the sniper for some of these headshots so that I can guarantee that these guys go down. Please exit to the helipad. Potential encounters include Jaime Reyes. I don't want to kill my Unatco buddies, only MJ-12, so... So if you guys were wondering what the hell that restricted area was in the beginning of the game, well that's where it is. Now we're in, we're close to the med lab. Unatco Med Lab. Go ahead and quick save again. Took care of that guy. We can go lethal, lethal if we need to. I just would prefer, you know, it's like I'm, my my no kill is basically faction based. If I can avoid killing NSF, if I can avoid killing Unatco, because they're just wrapped up in this. They they don't really have, you know, they're not necessarily bad guys. Email today. How about Reyes? Change account. Oppressive graphs. JD done its unfortunate situations that occur. Civilians potentially mechanical algorithms. And please contact evaluation methodology. Okay, something about my kill switch. I didn't have time to read it because we're in hacking mode. We already read the origins of Unatco. You need med kits like there's no tomorrow. We're just gonna steal this. Don't have enough room in my inventory for real. JC, you escaped? Is that what lockdown's about? I forgot to give Manderly my resignation. I heard they killed Paul. MIB's raided the apartment, but he's alive. He's going to slip out on his own. Manderly's a snake. He told me they were going to leave your brother alone. What can I do to help?
I'll have him come with me to Hong Kong, I guess. I'm going over to the Resistance. Why don't you join me? We can meet up in Hong Kong. I was hoping you'd let me tag along. We're both going to have to locate a man called Tracer Tong. Paul's contact there. Tong? I can remember that. Jaime, be careful. I will. By the way, the lab finally sent the augmentation canister I ordered. The one on the counter? Can your bots do the installation? Yeah, it was going to be a welcome aboard present. Guess it will have to be a retirement gift. Okay, let's see. What do I have in my inventory that I can drop for a second? I can drop these. Uh, okay, regeneration or energy shield? Ooh, that's another tough one. What the hell do I use? I'm thinking... I mean, regeneration could be nice so I don't have to use med kits all the time. As I said, if I'm going to have to get into melee phrase occasionally, because I am i don't know if I'm going to be focusing as much on, uh, on weapons, because I stupidly put too many points into uh, melee, so if I'm going to get into melee phrase, an energy shield might be nice, actually. That plus ballistic protection should help quite a bit. So we're going to go ahead and make another save. We're going to call it AUG4. And between food and, and med bots and buying med kits if I can, I'm in finding them, I think we should be okay, so. Polyaniline capacitors below the skin absorb heat and electricity, reducing the damage received from flame electrical and plasma attacks. Oh. Damage from enemy attacks is reduced slightly. Damage from enemy attacks. Agent is invulnerable. Damage from energy. So this is only against energy. Flame electrical and plasma attacks. Could be nice, that in conjunction with the subdermal armor could really... Then again, normal rate, slightly faster rate, healing occurs at a moderately faster rate. Well, shit. What do I do? shit guys what what should I do you know I feel like yeah between the subdermal armor and the energy shield if I need to run into combat I can um, but then I'm gonna have to find a bunch of healing resources for sure the healing I'll take a shitload of damage but I can heal for free well almost for free I still need bio cells so since I'm gonna need bio cells plus health kits for one versus just bio cells It's a good... This is a tough one, guys. I think we're gonna go with healing. Because then we can conserve medkits. Because uh, we can use healing more often, and then if we need medkits like in the middle of battle or something, we can use that. Um, and then we'll try and upgrade our subdermal armor. Um, versus it, because this is only flame, I mean, flame is good, electrical, I haven't seen many enemies with electrical stuff, and then plasma, that'll be later in the game, but we might have better ways of dealing with those kind of threats at that point. Um, so yeah, I'm actually going to go, because two shields might be like a little too much to manage all the time, so we're going to go ahead and install this. Sweet. We have an upgrade canister too, so any of our augs we want to upgrade. You know, for our build, if we're going to go like melee samurai, like attack people, we might actually just start throwing tons of upgrade canisters into the subdermal armor so we can just run at threats. That would be pretty cool. But, um, I don't know. We'll hold on to the upgrade cancer for now. So far things aren't too insane. Let's go ahead and make another hard save and then go explore the rest of the Natco base and try and get the hell out of here.
This is about MJ12. Um, unfortunately, we don't have time to read it. One tool. Oh, we have 20 of these. Yeah. It's just gonna quick save first in case it's like garbage. Bioelectric cell, it's not bad, especially since we're gonna be not uh, backed up by Unaco anymore. It's good to have access to those. Anything behind his desk or in his desk I can grab before we talk to him? Hello, Daedalus. I hope my escape was entertaining to watch. Daedalus? What are you talking about? You haven't been contacting me under an alias? The link went down. At first, I thought they'd executed you. Who else has access? Somebody cut the power to detention. I installed UNATCO security myself. It's unbeatable. You're starting to scare me. Not as much as you're scaring me. Who's Daedalus? And why does he want to rescue me? A better hacker than I. A trick like that? Well, it crossed my mind, I have to admit. I'm pretty disgusted with the agency right now. But I would have been caught. You wouldn't want to take that chance. No, but I can't just sit back and watch. Let me give you a key to the front door. Base is under lockdown until you're recaptured. You sound sincere. Maybe you should quit UNATCO. And do what? You can track me down in Hong Kong. I'm going to contact Tracer Tong and help the resistance. I might do that. Sure, I'll think about it. And I'm going to check into this mystery hacker. Alrighty. Sounds good. Everybody's got their assigned duties and chores. Speculative fiction resource trade show. Okay, alright, so. Let's go ahead and do this. Make another hard save. I don't know why I'm saving so much, guys. I'm just paranoid, you know. Pretty dark and spooky around here right now. One last trip to the ladies' bathroom. We have movement here, sir. Somebody's in the men's bathroom. Engaging the enemy. Fuck you, stop shooting me. Come on, buddy. Where you at? Where you at? That's like on the time. Damn it. See, and you wonder why I save all the fucking time. Okay. Oh, I'm like, why can't I save the game? Okay, let's try this. Now, I shot him, but I don't know why he didn't go down. Um, let's try a charge. This will probably work better. Let's reload it real quick. Why does it take two? It takes two, baby. Um, it should only take one, especially when I, well, first of all, my skill is upgraded. It should only take one, and then, um, yeah, let's just get out of here. Just close the door. We may re reload the save because ideally we don't even have to uh, mess I with him. There's oh. one. We can conserve those resources. So many cigarettes. These people have a problem. Uh, I guess. Save some 30 out 6 ammo. No, can't take any soda. There's one guard, two guards, shit. Contact, I have visual. Hear that? Everybody check weapons. God damn, terrorist. Shit, 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 go, 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 JC, no, go. Go, you know what, I can just... Leave me alone. Stop shooting me. Stop shooting me. Stop shooting me. I think they're both passed out now. Huh? 
Don't find anything. This guy's almost certainly passed out. Trank darts, nice. So that was sort of worth it. I'm gonna go grab my other trank dart from right here. Give it to me. There we go. Unconscious, yeah. I mean, maybe they're bastards, maybe they're not. I'm gonna make. I'm not gonna make that judgment call yet. So uh, I prefer not to kill them if possible. Uneco handbook. Uneco around the world for far too long. To, uh, Philip Riley lobby Congress to take you as member. Enough is enough. He declared his next day. Uh, Uneco these on terrorist threats. Uh, for far too long, terrorists have exploited international tensions and regional legislative variations to elude authorities. Uh, I was trying to figure out if we'd read this or not. A significant step was made towards eliminating these legal loopholes when U.S. President Philip Riley Meade lobbied that Congress uh, to make the U.S. a UNATCO member nation. Enough is enough, he declared in his landmark stated union address. Oh, no, we read this. Yeah, yeah, okay, never mind. We read that. that that's an old one. Okay, nobody's in our base holding cells. Okay. I didn't get that many resources from these guys, so oh sh and once again, god damn it. You know what? Hold on. We're gonna load a game. We're gonna load this. What did we do? We wasted bioelectric energy. We wasted darts that we didn't need to waste. Um, I think it's better to just not worry about these guys, especially if we can get through the rest of the facility fairly stealthy or just run out the front, because that was a lot of resources. And I, I keep doing the same thing. I turn on my AUG and then I for completely forget that it's on and then I waste all that energy, so it's not a good idea. There's her. Doesn't say if she's friendly or not, so I'm not gonna risk it just yet. Bioelectric cell, very nice. I'll go ahead and quick save here. down now. Yeah. Same shit we've been reading for a while, so let's go ahead and make another hard save. If you guys think I'm saving too much, I get it, but again, I don't feel like these are super consistent rules all the time. Oh shit, that's a lot of guys. Kinda, do I have a gas grenade? That's a lot of picks. I don't know if I see anything in there worth... Try shooting them both with a crossbow bolt and then seeing how that works. So let's go ahead and click save. Um, let's see if she freaks out. JC! Manderley, it's JC! Let's go talk to Manderley. You will be much happier at the Library of Congress. I can't control a man's mind. You aren't a commander, Manderley. We hoped you'd give you Natko an urbane diplomatic face, that's all. We screwed up our priorities. I refuse to be pushed into some obscure bureaucratic cubbyhole. Actually, I doubt you'll get the chance. Look around. Your star pupil has come back to teach a lesson to his old instructor. JC. I never had time to take the oath of service to the Coalition. How about this one? I swear not to rest until you Natko is free of you and the other crooked bureaucrats who've perverted its mission. Big words for a rookie. The only problem is that security is well aware of your escape. Trust me, you won't leave the facility alive. You can't run, Denton. 
Even if you escape, your kill switch is counting down. You'll be dead in 23 hours. Another $50 billion down the drain. We'll see about that. You Dendons sure hung us out to dry. Got anything else cool in here this time, or is it just more crap? Why is he trying to kill me? Fuck you, bro. Alright, we're gonna load that set. I couldn't get a I couldn't get a queen shot and we kept moving around like a crazy person. Alright, well I'm just gonna trank him. He might be evil, he might not be, I don't know. He seemed to be protesting quite a lot. So we're gonna try that again, we're just gonna shoot him when we get a JC. chance. Yeah. Mandalay, it's JC. You will be much happy. I can't. You are. I re Actually, I. JC. Big. You can't. We'll see about. Stay sharp, people. Back and load. Shit. Uh. Okay, well that actually worked out very well. I'm so glad I got the help. That's actually way better. Uh, deactivate. Way better. Got 10 mil ammo. How could you betray the coalition? Oh, it's pretty easy. So again, trying. To, I'm not sure if this is the right. Yeah, I don't think those cameras can see me, or I don't think they care. I'm not sure if this is the right. Uh, Is there ever anything in here? Like, what is the point of this? I wonder if it changes based on how you conduct yourself in the store. Uh, let's go ahead and... Help that guy. Just found a... Wait. No, he's unconscious. That's right. Okay, well. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm not 100% sure that they're all evil. So, I kind of want to keep it... You know. Only problem is I used two grass grenades where if I could have grouped them together one would have been sufficient, I think. Ten mil ammo. Okay, that camera doesn't care that I'm here. Uh Sabot rounds and whatever the hell that is, I don't know what that is. Might be plasma ammo. Holy oh, you know what? I I'm starting to get a flashback here. I wonder if there's one of those MJ twelve guys in the next room. There might be. So hold on. Um, let's go ahead and make a hard save. No, nope, just a dude. Oh, there's one. It's annoying that the crossbow, there's no way, like, one off or one hit to take down with uh, the crossbow. And there's very few one hit takedowns with the uh, stealth in general. That's why I wanted to upgrade my melee so I could use the, the stun baton. Oh, JC. Carry on with your banking. I'm just taking one last look at the old place. Amazing if you think about it. All the hours I spent dreaming about working here. 
All the heroic fantasies when really this place is just a cinder block bunker with a carpet. My banking. Oh, yes. Never mind me. Go ahead and escape. <laughs> I won't blow the alarm. Something wrong. Really, as long as you stay out of the way, I don't have any reason to hurt you. Okay, I admit it. I'm the one who's been stealing from HQ. It was me all along. Kaplan, the false floor in Alex's office, everything that's missing. It was me. I'm the last person who's gonna bust you for stealing. Huh? What'd you take? Anything I could use? I don't know. You sure you can keep it hush-hush? I found a few scrambler grenades I was gonna give Kaplan. Good against bots, you know, but you could take them. I have three, 1250 each. Oh, I'll pass. No, thank you. So, I, I thought I did a fair amount of, like, questing and, and exploration. I didn't know anything about, like, uh, theft in the office or um, a false uh, floor in someone's office. I had no idea about any of that, so I don't know what's going on here. Pick up the pistol. Okay, that's fine. I don't need the pistol. Hong Kong in turmoil. Uh, disseminate to all agents. In the last 24 hours, the political situation in Hong Kong has deteriorated rapidly, and local authorities seem powerless to contain the chaos. A recent hit on the Lucky Money Club by suspected members of the criminal... I think... Did we read this? Criminal Luminous... Members of the criminal Luminous Path Triad uh, was in the, only the opening salvo in an escalating war between unidentified members of local criminal organizations. Casualties have included not only targets of opportunity, but also government facilities and urban infrastructure, both Hong Kong police and military on heightened alert. As the situation develops and we receive further reports from UNACO field ops, this information will be updated. Hmm. Looks like we're walking into quite the situation with um, Hong Kong there. Okay, no money to steal. Don't need anything there. Three picks. Do I not have the key to my own office? Really? How many picks do I have? 16? Kind of curious to break into my office. So we're going to go ahead and quick save. If it's stupid, we'll just load because I'm trying to conserve resources. But let's go ahead and equip. Usually I always put a ton into lock picking and whatever, but this time I'm just not doing as much of that, which is kind of cool. I need to change up my Deus Ex play style. It's like the same every game. Daedalus, get out. Uh, they're closing in on your position now. Exit the building as soon as possible. You must escape. Okay. That was stupid. There's not even any ammo or anything in this office, so we're just gonna load because that was stupid. I'm sorry, I know it's safe scumming guys, but whatever. The resources in this game have been a big, a bit scant of late. Pick up the pistol. That's all. Betray the coalition. Is there anything on your computer? Oh, I'm gonna definitely hack into Mandalay's. I wonder if there's anything interesting on there. Come on, come on, show me, show me. G. Herman, Guest, JCD, J. Reyes, J. Reed. How okay. could you betray the coalition? Let's check Manderley's stuff. J. Manderley. Alright. Killer. Decrypt Agent A. Navar kill phrase. Kill phrase, part one of two, decrypted, Flatlander. Hmm, it's nice to have the kill phrases, for sure. So the, uh, the ex-agents, or the old agents, the Anna Navar and G. Herman, uh, we learned in an earlier email that they have, uh, kill switch phrases. So we have a kill switch timer, and they have uh, phrases. So you just say the phrase and they'll, they'll die. Um, which could be super useful for us. 
Um, which means if we go into a boss fight with Gunther Herman, we don't actually have to fight him. But I thought we would have found more information about it by now. So we're going to go ahead and equip this. It might be in here. It would be awesome if it was. I always like doing things in a clever way or just by, okay, I explored a lot. So now I don't have to fight the boss. I like stuff like that. Okay, data cube, acoustic sound sensor design and specification. The acoustic gunfire sensor has been deployed by a number of organizations throughout the world in those urban areas where it might otherwise be difficult to implement and maintain a pervasive security presence. Utilizing fairly rudimentary DSP algorithms, the sensor will trigger if any sound matching the profile of a gunshot occurs within the sensor's direction radius or detection radius. Field tests in Hong Kong have shown them to be 88% accurate with an overall 12% decrease in crime within six months. Cheap and easy to install, Acoustic gunfire sensors can be fitted to buildings, lamp posts, or any other freestanding structure. Uh, multi tool. And. We checked here, too. So, just. Yeah, I, that's all the info we got about kill phrases, unfortunately. We could try checking the messages in Manderley's office. I think this is the last time we go to Unaco, but I'm not sure about that. Nope. Could be that I messed up the first time we came here. I could have explored a few more things, but I feel like I was pretty good about it. We spent a lot of time here at Unaco, so. Now, how many lockpicks do we have now? 13. Actually, you know what? Let's load. I know, once again, I know it's save scumming. Trying to save resources here. It's locked. Oh, I got the key from somebody. Now, two of these guys are like pretty friendly with me. I wonder if they're gonna give me any crap. Let's go ahead and quick save. Let's reload first. You can go through loading zones. That was that's the guy that was cool, always cool with me. He's like, "Hey, buddy, what's up?" Every time. Now he's like, "We gotta get him." Oh, I cannot forgive. No, not the killing of Agent Nova. I will follow you, Tenton. I will get you. Oh. Forgot to heal. That's probably a big mistake. I think he's about to pass out. Got him right in the head. See, I like this guy. He was nice to me. Just the pistol. Come on. I have to know your secrets. Armed response is sanctioned for the unauthorized activity. Personnel locked down. We have an unspecified. Okay, blah, 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 blah. Log out. That's all we need. Okay, they're just talking about me and my escape. This should be on. I thought I made myself very clear. Let's go ahead and make one last quick save and then go check out what's going on outside. Screw you! Really? How much do I have to upgrade it to just to jump over a simple fence?
Thank you. Please recharge me. Uh, scramble grenade. Nice. 10 mil ammo. Don't need it. Anything up here? Who keeps busting this thing? Uh, let's just go ahead and hack it. Maybe it'll still function. Or at least we can turn the camera off. Shut up. I'm out of here. How do you know to meet me? Daedalus. He called himself Daedalus. A friend of yours? Nope. I came because I owe your brother Paul a few favors. Come on, let's go. I'm gonna take you to Hong Kong. Can you put me in contact with Tracer Tong? I know a place where we can touch down in the city, but Tong is very suspicious of foreigners. You'll have to earn the trust of your brother's allies. They'll know how to find Tom. Great. Let's go. Time to see if this stealth copter is worth all the fuss. MJ-12 has a facility in Hong Kong, and they'll be watching for us. All right, well, we saved Paul. And uh, we escaped from the MJ-12 holding facility, which was really just the UNATCO facility. Okay, so now we're going to make another save here real quick. Um, and actually what I'm going to do is just check the recording right now. Okay, it's still going strong. But just as a measure of safety, I'm going to go ahead and stop, so we... Okay, it looks like we're back. Yeah, I just, I'm just going to go ahead and stop and then restart the recording, make sure it looks good. It's going fine now, again, so... Looking good. So, I think I figured out something. It's similar to Thief. Um, it might be because they, they have, I don't know, similar coding or something like that. But if you have the menu open, like the pause menu open, then the game is fine with alt-tabbing in and out of it, even when it's in full screen mode or whatever, right? Or it's actually in windowed mode right now, I just extended it to the full screen. But when I'm when I just, when I'm in actual gameplay and I try to alt-tab, it freaks out and just drops everything, so um, keep that in mind, guys. Um, hold on one second, I'm actually going to <laughs> I should have uh, stopped the recording and then um, uh, gotten some more water, but I'm gonna do that right now. So just give me a second while I get some more water guys Alright guys, I am back. Uh, let's get into it, let's get into it. I am hoping for this episode, I wanted to save Paul, break out of the facility, and then I was um, pretty ambitious. I was like, you know, let's finish Hong Kong as well, but it's already getting a little bit late for me, so... Uh, uh, let's, what is it? Back to game. There we go. So it's already getting a little bit late for me, so... I blew it, JC. I'm sorry. MJ-12 must want you back. Okay, so as far as I remember, Hong Kong is actually pretty long, so that's why it's pretty ambitious for me to be like, oh, let's do that, and this, and Hong Kong, and it's like, Ugh. 
Hong Kong could easily be another two or three hours. Maybe even four, I don't know. Like it's, it's, guys, this is not a short game at all. Um, especially the way I'm playing it. I'm trying to be completionist and, and explore a bunch of stuff. So... Okay, so the blast doors are locked down. I think we need to go over there, but we're going to try and go a sort of stealthy, sneaky route. Oh, wait. Alright, so there are a bunch of guys up here. There's a camera. I don't know why I keep falling down. Yep, that's what it is. I can't look that way. Okay, I don't know what's going on with JC right now. He just, like, refuses to stay where he's supposed to be. If these are MJ-12 guys, I may just fucking kill them. You know, I don't really see any point in being non-lethal anymore, because I'm tired of these people. Okay, can't open this door. I am kind of wishing, but no, I think the speed and jumping is better, but that silent running og could be pretty awesome. Okay, flight control and the barracks downstairs. You know, if we can sneak in and just do flight control and not screw with the barracks, that could be awesome, actually. Um, and then we'll just go straight to Hong Kong. I don't want to get into a big gunfight here. But I'm prepared to, if need be. Like control decks. What deck are we? I can't tell. I'm um, okay, I see it. It's this one. Okay, this one's locked. We don't have a key for it, so I guess we'll try this one first. Hmm. Twilight Flight Controllers. Uh, after the recent theft of the SH-187, we are reevaluating our security procedures until further notice. Deck 1 Flight Control has been sealed and troops ordered to barracks. If you need access to Flight Control, please see Tech Sergeant McKinney. Mackie. Well, shit. Let's go ahead and hack it. Come on, let me in. Okay, so we're going to turn that camera off. Turret status can't... Okay, camera off. And camera off. I'm going to go ahead and log out. Now, it would be nice to turn turrets against our enemies. So, we're going to look at our skills real quick. Uh, that would be computer. And computer can... Computers and security consoles. Terminals to read bulletins and news. Trained... Oh, okay, we are trained advanced can archive moderate and control of automated turrets that would be awesome 2250 to be uh advanced Ugh, there's so many like i want i want computer i want electronics human can be applied to an agent in the field allowing more efficient use so this this is about med kits but since we have the aug we are not going to need to train in medicine most likely so i definitely want computer to be advanced Electronics to be, um, well, actually, this hasn't been that big of an issue. One of the things I like about the the build system in this game is trained is still pretty good. You don't need to be advanced or mastered for most things. Weapons, we may not actually go for a master right now, unless we start getting a ton of extra uh, XP. Environmental training, absolutely not. Lock picking, I'm starting to think maybe not, because we, we're finding enough lock picks that it's not that big of an issue. Or we can just find keys or whatever, and it would be nice. So here's the weapon. Here's the things I, I want to upgrade. I want weapons. Uh, I want rifle, electronics, computer for sure. So that's 2250 plus 3600. What is that? 5850. That's a lot of XP. Um, and then rifle. That's another... So we need like 11,000 XP. I don't think we're going to be able to actually get advanced in all the things that we want. But we can... We can try. We'll see. Alright.
Hmm. Wish I had control of him. Like I did last time. That was pretty dope. I don't remember how long Hong Kong was. Uh, last time I played it, it seemed not... I don't know. I don't remember. It could have been super long. It could have been super short. Um, once again, we have to go back to New York after Hong Kong, which I'm not super excited about. I'm kind of ready for globe trotting, and I don't want to have to go back. And then it... Careful down there. That fueling equipment was installed by the lowest bidder. One time I had to fly a couple of gas technicians to the emergency room. Why would I want to purge this system? It's only one tool. In terms of strength. Okay, I think we're actually making our way to the barracks. So. Well, you know what? Let's try it. Well, let's see what it does. I know it's considered stave scumming, but I just want to experiment. I want to figure out what all these little... It's kind of like Hitman now, where I'm just like, okay, I need to eliminate these people or do something. Let's figure out what all the little environmental hazards might be that could help me do that. So, a little quick save. They just released poison gas into the lower levels. Find a hazmat suit or get out of there. Well, what is the point of this? Bypass the device, 50 skill points. <laughs> this is stupid. What the hell was that for? That was the stupidest thing I've ever seen. Oh, maybe if I get all the people down here maybe I can get them to follow me no I don't think so I don't think they're gonna come down here I don't know what that's for plus I have to be down here to bypass it so that seems a bit stupid These are MJ-12 boys. You know what that means. First off, let's go ahead and save. That means the gloves come off. Just wait for the alarm to chill out, and we'll just keep picking them off because of these guys. Yeah, I'm kind of having fun playing this like a shooter now. Fuck it. Let's finish him off. Oh, oh, they're coming up here. I think. He's still in the area. Uh -oh. Check your six. He could be anywhere. Leave me be. I only want to slowly assassinate you and your friends. They say this guy can just disappear when he wants to. I can. Actually, I think there's an AUG you get in the game where you can actually turn invisible, which might also be a great AUG. That's the thing, my build is like constantly evolving. I don't really know what I want to focus on all the time. Let's 
Okay, let's just do a quick save. Yeah. <laughs> that noise scared me. I must be part Chihuahua because I got startled by the noise. I'll tell you what, I love this damn rifle. That was the best decision I ever made, putting the silencer on this thing instead of the assault rifle. Go ahead and reload. Hopefully there's some 30 out 6 ammo around here for us. All those MJ-12 assholes. Munitions bay. Very nice. Credit shit. Don't need the pepper gun. One of the things that I think was hard to wrap my head around as a kid, especially playing Thief and this, you know, Half-Life was the first real shooter that I played. Um, and, you know, everything you find, you just pick up. That's pretty cool. I want this sword. Wait. What? Uh, what do I have to drop to get the sword? I will drop anything. How many can spots does it take up? Oh, come on, man. What is it? Let's just drop this for now. <laughs> I can just get a goddamn sword. Oh, that'll be fun to use. Uh, taking up way too much space in my inventory, though. I'm going to have to get rid of something else. Oh, this is pretty nice. This is pretty nice, too. I don't know. I don't know what I could get rid of. I mean, I can certainly get rid of the Combat Knight in, fa in favor of this. Um, what about some of these weapon mods? Okay, range. Maybe the sniper rifle. Accuracy. Yeah, you know, I'm liking these two, but hold it. What's the accuracy? 70%. 80%. Alright, let's go ahead and make a new save. I don't know, I'm not going back, but it just makes me feel better. You know, I'm very indecisive. Weapons 4, I don't know. I don't even know if that's the fourth save. Uh, so we're going to put the accuracy, believe it or not, on this one. And now it's got, it's only, oh, 50, plus 8%. That's pretty good, actually. 20 millimeter ammo. Oh, yeah, you can put grenades in that. I forgot. Fucking sweet. Okay, and then the range probably put it on this one yeah all right and now we don't have to sacrifice anything we can take this and our soy product oh yes now we have a giant king sword <laughs> guess what we can fucking break up indoors with it too even better oh my god i can't carry any more multi-tools come on man Goodbye lockpicks. Don't need that shit anymore. We had another one of the locals attempt to hack the security key bed on the elevator. Looked like a kid this time, but he did a pretty good job of staying out of the surveillance field. Anyway, Nicole managed to override bef an override before he got in, and she reset the code to 989. Hopefully that'll keep him out until we can get more security on the entrance. So, 989, what is this? Uh, elevator. This is elevator security code. This is for the H-pad. I'm going to have to get a new sheet. This is a total mess.
very nice. See, this is the whole, like, thing that people love about Deus Ex. You feel like... The game does give the impression that is that it is sort, sort of supposed to be played one way or that it's just a stealth game or just a whatever or you have to, you know, find the lock picks to, to pick these or whatever. But there's just a bunch of different ways that you can play the game and it doesn't ever really stumble or get in your way. It just lets you do it. Um... And it doesn't seem to have an opinion either of how you're playing, whether it approves or disapproves. It's just like, nope, that's, you want to do it that way, that's totally fine. And that is what is Deus Ex, you know? And up, here's the other thing. It, there's the thrill of discovery, too, in this game, because, like, I was under the impression, I was all but convinced that uh, I could not break open doors with uh, crowbars or whatever, because I had tried it a bunch of times. Um, but I just, the, the weapons I was using to break open doors were just too weak, so. Uh, combat knife, hands are full, so he's got nothing. Combat knife, pistol. Tranquilizer dart, that's good. Sawed off shotgun, combat knife, sawed off shotgun, no, okay. Uh, I wish I could upgrade my inventory, let me see. You know what, there does seem to be some extra room here being utilized by the screen. I wonder if the inventory can be upgraded. That would be nice. If that's an AUG, I will absolutely go for that. Of course, the other one's going to be like, uh, do you want infinite ammo for all your guns? Or you could have uh, expanded inventory, and it's like, I don't know what to choose. Damn it. <laughs> it seems like the AUGs, and some of the AUGs, not all of them, but some of them are are almost impossible choices. Now I really... Because now I'm... What? I'm advanced. What's my skill level? Yeah, advanced with low-tech weapons, so this could be pretty badass. Med kit, very nice. I need one of those. Another med kit. You want to be careful with not being crouched. You can make quite a bit of, unlike Thief where they kind of give you a little bit of leeway, um, you can make quite a lot of noise just by not being crouched. Yunako responds to terrorist attack, New World Press, New York City, a terror wanted succession is forwarding to blah 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 tall grass and other fronts always remain in the danger of presence already is currently oh here we go a terrorist strike on liberty island was blunted this past week when UNATCO forces moved swiftly to neutralize the threat the attack the result of a poorly organized attempt to break security at UNATCO headquarters by the national secessionist forces NSF was characterized by one unidentified source as a futile gesture Walton Simmons director of FEMA worked closely with UNATCO to coordinate both U.S. and UNATCO forces in a joint operation to root out the remaining elements of the terrorist network in New York. Terrorism is very much a snake that slithers out of the tall grass, said Simmons. It is our responsibility to always, responsibility to always remain alert to the danger it presents and to act decisively when it appears. Authorities are currently attempting to locate J.C. Denton, one of the terrorist leaders who escaped in the aftermath of the attack. So I went from a, f a celebrated field agent to terrorist leader. That's kind of interesting. Gas grenade. Some... What are those? I don't know what that says. Just want to get into a fight now with my new big sword. Save... I know there's computers that we probably need to get into, but I'm just going to do this first. Okay, that's where we came from out here. Now, there are a bunch of guys upstairs that I don't necessarily want to get into a whole in thing with, so what I am going to do is go start checking these computers for stuff. Is there another computer around here? High efficiency ethanol. Oh, okay. Project Dibook SH-187 specifications and operations. Dom domination 5F clearance only. The goal of Project Dibook was to create a long-range, variable mission-capable rotary aircraft 
realized to its fullest extent. Stealth helicopter, the production of the model SH-187, features a revolutionary engine powered by high-efficiency ethanol fuel cells with a flight range of over 9,000 miles. That's actually kind of what I'm working on. Not ethanol, though. Um, depending upon atmospheric condition, conditions, and an extension of the thermo thermoptic camouflage technology that renders it invisible across 97% of the non-visible electromagnetic spectrum. Ideally suited for surveillance, insertion, retrieval, and limited interaction, the SH-187 will often spend much of its operational lifetime within hostile territory, and then for therefore is also equipped with remote disabling and scrambling, scrambling for its key flight systems. If necessary, the vehicle can also be scuttled remotely. All Hong Kong MJ-12 personnel. Hong Kong is a unique environment for MJ-12 personnel and provides a number of challenges that all members should be aware of on a daily basis. Currently, only tenuous ties exist between MJ-12 and local authorities. Though MJ-12 is working to resolve that situation, and consequently, though MJ-12 is working to resolve that situation, and consequently, police and security cannot be expected to understand the special nature of MJ-12's charter. Agents, operatives, security, and other personnel should adhere closely to confidentiality guidelines outlined in your handbook. One key factor in police response is the use of acoustic gunfire sensors scattered throughout much of Hong Kong. Cheap and effective, these sensors use DSP circuitry tool or authorities to non-suppressed, i.e. not silenced, gunfire. This enables police to quickly minimize threat situations in an efficient manner. While these sensors can be disabled, Central Operations does not recommend this course of action, but rather a considered evaluation of any tactical situation to avoid local intervention. Hmm... Okay. Sorry, I was just taking some notes again. All right, we might have the key to now get up where we need to go. Flight controls. Yeah, I'm confused. What supposed to be in here? Oh, here we go. Munitions bay. Here's the munitions bay. Actually, what are my goals even? <laughs> uh, deactivate the weapon lock on Jock's helicopter. The remote control panel is on the floor. Oh, okay, we, yeah, we can do that, no problem. Uh, but at least while we're in here, let's grab all the ammo that we can. More of that. Weapon modification recoil. Oh, might want that. Multi tool. Multi tool. Can't carry any more of those. Keyring munitions bay. Data queue. Maintenance note, got a shipment that, of that experimental fuel, but this stuff is scary. Toxic six ways to Sunday, and while the emergency purge is designed to shunt it into the basement tanks in case of a problem, the fumes alone could creak back up the ventilation system and push, put most of the facility out of business. Definitely lowest bid contract work. Until I can f get a hold of someone to fix this mess, I've slapped a temporary lockout on the purge valve. 99871. Nine, oh, excuse me. Wrong sheet. 99871. It's a purge valve so i was right it is a way to kill everyone in the barracks give me a ring at 443 okay if there's a problem um yeah so apparently there is uh, a way to kill everyone in the barracks using the gas you just need to grab that hazmat suit 
uh, to make sure that you can um, survive it after you get through there, so. Um, but we didn't need to do that, we just sniped everybody. So let's go ahead and drop this for now, and then we're going to put the recoil mod. The only thing we're having trouble with recoil with is the assault rifle, so we're going to put that on the assault rifle. Here we go, let's see, reload time recoil, 0.5 minus 10%, 0.45, okay, so hopefully that should help, we'll see. Okay, still don't need any of these, that's fine. Do we need, oh, you know what, let's go ahead and do this, since there's a droid right there. Ninety-four, sixty-four. We still have ways to go. Yeah, we should we should have healed in Rhea's office, but whatever. We can't be perfect. Oh, oh it's cool that it uh, deactivates uh, once you're fully healed. That's pretty cool. I like that. Okay. We discovered everything we need to discover, including this big ass sword. Nice. Uh, weapons lock. Back in business. Come on down and stay clear of the blast doors to the south. I'm gonna launch a missile. I'm not sure he needs. Oh, I guess he does. Fire in the hole. I have to get clear. Oh, oh god damn it! Holy shit! I supposed to do now can I even get through there Okay, that's not gonna work. Okay, let's go ahead and load. Well, what the hell are we supposed to do? Hold on, do we even need to do that? Can't I just find a code to open the doors? We can do this. Uh, let's go ahead and grab this guy and switch to. Oh, we don't have any 20 mil ammo. Damn it. So I was like, oh, we can just use that. Well, you know what? <laughs> Duh. What are they thinking? We can absolutely take care of this right now. Oh, it's already disabled. Okay, hold on. Let's uh, let's load our quick save. Yeah. Can I just beat it up? No, that's not a good strategy. <laughs> I think we're gonna stick to the EMPs. Nope.
Excuse me. Come on. Let's just... There we go. Let me through. Oh, I've only got two of these damn things, and I have to use them both right now. I suppose I could use a lamb on one of them, but... We have two robots to kill. And two of these. So... Oh, God. bitch. Are you disabled? Dude, you. Oh, it was the light. That's what it was. Well, okay. At least we know we can load the same. <laughs> There we go, much better. Okay, bolt disabled. Disabled! I'm disabled! Any fans of the IT crowd may get that reference, they may not. I, I don't know. It is a bit obscure. Oh shit, where do I have to go? Ooh, lockpick. Nice. Uh, yeah, I need to turn this off. Deactivate. Okay. Now let's try this. Shouldn't be an issue anymore. Let's go ahead and save game. I do have to actually go downstairs and watch him blow it up. Fire in the hole. I have to get clear. Head for the exit and I'll link up with you when I can. Alrighty. Here's our buddy. Come here. Yes, please. Now, are there still guards upstairs? Yes. Okay, maybe it wasn't such a good idea to call attention to myself. But it seems like they have supplies, so maybe I can snipe them. Do the whole song and dance again. Oh, for, come on, man. Yeah. Back in business. Come on down and stay clear of the blast doors to the south. I'm gonna launch a missile. got all that done because I don't want to watch all that fucking shit a million times. We are going to try and carefully take these guys out and then go raid their little poker game or whatever the hell they got going on up there. Now they've got plasma guns though so I don't know if I can't get them from here I don't know if I want to mess I don't think I can see them from here. Yeah I don't think I'm gonna mess with them. Yeah, I'm choosing not to. I choose not to run. 
I think I happen to know exactly where three tools are. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back here, go into the munitions bay. There's gonna be two multi-tools in here that we can grab. Some weird texture loading issues. One, two. Uh, and that cost us three. I think there's a third one in the lockers in the barracks. So we're going to go to the barracks. Let's see, it was upstairs. No, no. Yep. Okay, three multi tools. Love of Christ. Alright, let's go. Now we're going to Hong Kong proper. I think this game definitely deserves a replay, maybe not immediately after this, but fairly close because once you know the levels, you can really start to have some fun, you know what I mean? You don't have to, you're like, I know these guys are here, I know I'm gonna need this ability, I'm gonna... What the fuck, guys? Seriously? Oh, I know what this shit is. Hold on. No. Yeah, that's what I thought. I was like, I, no. I don't have to waste any more. Uh, let's go ahead and save. Can I go up? No. Probably my favorite song in all of Deus Ex. Okay, you need to find Tracer Tong. He used to drop Paul off in a small compound east of the market. You could start there. Don't lose any time. Your kill switch is 12 hours old. If you die, our plans will fail. Locate Tracer Tong. Probably, yeah, one of my favorite areas of the entire game, Hong Kong. Paris is pretty cool as well. With the catacombs and there's like a nightclub and all sorts of stuff. It's, uh, I really like it. Very nice. Lum Dim, I've been watching the offices across the way, and I think with the help of you, high powered optics and infrared scanner manage to work out the code for the police station 911. This is a lucky number for us, I think, and once we can sell, which. And when we can sell, which triad do you think would pay the most, Brother Jane? Okay, uh, let's get a new. I'm gonna get a new page going for codes. So this is Hong Kong. And this is, uh. Police Station. It is 911. Okay. I'm gonna try and take out the guy non lethally. Let's go ahead and put this here for the time being. Officer Tam, recent reports of the conflict between the Red Arrow and Luminous Pass are most troubling. We will counsel their respective dragon heads at the first available opportunity, but if further incidents occur, you are sanctioned to open ordinance, the ordinance vault and apply force to the participants as necessary. Hmm, I'd like in, to get into the ordinance vault. What's going on in here? Nope. Close that. Oh, I'm just going to sneak this way.
Don't need the tech goggles. Let's see what this says. Since the fighting at the canal tunnel, the Luminous Path compound has remained silent and unwatchful. However, at 1938, there was an explosion and the sound of the helicopter flying from east to west. But when I attempted to locate the aircraft for visual identification, I could only make out a black shape against the night sky. Its skin seemed to absorb light like that of a shark in the deep ocean. At 21 or 2001 or 2010, <laughs> I began to hear reports of Guaylo, Gu possibly the same one who created problems for the elder brother recently in the market, asking questions about things he should not be asking questions about. Okay, so we know Gua Guaylo, if that's his name, I don't know. Guai Lo, maybe. Guai Lo, yeah, that's probably it. Um, asking questions about, okay. I don't think there's a code there. 1938. You could try it. I'm pretty sure that's not the code. It doesn't make any sense that it would be. Nope. Oh, infinite. Okay, so we have to find the code regardless. Oh, here we go. Security computer terminal. Okay. Turn all the cameras off. Okay, unlocked open. Well, we gotta find that code somewhere. Let's see if we can't figure it out. Why was the alarm activated? Did that guy see something maybe? We may not go up here because we don't think we need to. doors just they don't give you any time to go back to them so we can't bypass this no Right. Okay, since I didn't knock that guy out yet. Okay. Damn it. Okay. Sorry, guys. Oh, crap. We gotta load this again. Damn it. That's actually an improvement over Thief, that you can actually interact with stuff while carrying bodies. Although, 
Good thief, you can do a hell of a lot while carrying bodies. Zero one zero. One nine three eight. No. All right, so I'm gonna quick save over that, and then we're gonna make sure we hack this, turn off the cameras just in case we need to do some nefarious stuff. I save all the time because it's like it's so redundant having to do these few little things over and over again. You can easily get caught though. Who are you looking at? Shopkeepers are honest. You will find a good bargain here. Let's hack this ATM. I need some money. Arrangement with the luminous path. Do you want to do business in Wang Chai? I will not be threatened. Don't think your luminous path can protect you. Get out now. As you wish, but don't be surprised if you don't pass your next inspection. I know people on the hill for They can't be bought. Perhaps, but they just like rats. Don't interfere in my business. Welcome to the Wang Chai Tea House. Anything you like, 12 credits. Never mind. Oh my god. They are everywhere. We will be patient with world if we make a mess. You can't be serious. We would our family now be able to it to leave so soon. Please. We are having a discussion. We had the Jiao Si. Very good. I can't stand it. Look at all the rats in this fucking place. Here, I'll help you out, buddy. Come on. Kill all the rats. Where's the last one? I got you. Nice. Oh, here's the last one. Come out. Nice. Can I help you? I just kill all your rats. Oh, come on, give me a discount, Never buddy. Mind. That is a shitload of rats. In a, like this is even above ground too. It shouldn't be that bad. This guy. What about this guy? I do not recognize you. The lucky man. Many public 
fortification. Watch your interest. What do you think of the Red Arrow Triad? They will control all of Wen Chai in a few weeks. You sound certain. The fighting is not going well for the ruminous pack. Make it out exclusive interview in the Orient of Dairy News. Have you heard of Maggie Chow? A former actress. Well respected. She gives a lot of money to fight drug trafficking and illegal trade. Please put a new head on back when you are done blotting. Okay, welcome to Wen Chai. Please use the following please use the following map provided at no cost to enjoy and see our beautiful district. In Wen Chai Market. In Wen my Charket. Oh my god, guys. I think it's getting late. Uh, in Wen Chai Market is where you will take in the tea, buy a bird, and shop for antiques and other wonderments. The old China Hand, the Lucky Money Club, have dancing and drinks for all. Uh, and Lucky Money Club have dancing and drinks. End your day with a much with much ovation in a sampan ride through the historic canal and observe ceremonies at the authentic temple in the main square. Enjoy. Hmm. Yeah, I just like the, the feel of this. It feels like a big bustling city. I like all the neon signs everywhere, uh, the Asian influence. You know, I think the cyberpunk aesthetic Two? is yes, a little bit better conveyed in... Versalife? How can you tell? Is my hair turning blue? Versalife has done much to revitalize the community. Well, they're always hiring. I guess that's something. I will wrap them up. No, no, I can manage. Very good. Thank you. Please, look around. Perhaps a present for your girlfriend? Um... Tonochi Road. Uh, I think the Lucky Money Club is downstairs here. Police are right there. So it's funny because Deus Ex is kind of like Thief meets uh, System Shock, but the more I think about it, Dishonored I think was sort of going for a, uh, a Thief meets Deus Ex vibe. You know, you get a lot of like gadgets and things like that. You know? The guy who is like your main contact through a good chunk of the game is the, the guy who takes you from place to place. Um, you know, it's the ferryman in, um, uh, Dishonored, and then, of course, in Deus Ex, it's your helicopter pilot, so. I need more upgrade canisters. I'm feeling like I'm probably missing a ton of them by now, or something. I'm going to go. Here's the temple. Old China Hand. Let's try the Lucky Money Club. Actually, let's see. Uh, goals notes. Look for clues to find tr finding Tracer Tong at the compound that Paul used to visit to the east of the Wen Chai Market. Find Tracer Tong somewhere in Hong Kong. Tracer Tong. Oh, this is how you get an Aversa life. Yeah, security infinite. Good old canal. Many memories of this one. The mall area is perfectly safe. If you want a good time, I recommend the Rocky Money. Five picks. What's in there? Newspaper. Bunch of stuff to drink. That looks like a yeah. It's a med pack. Some candy bars. Soy. 
an ATM I can hack, and a computer might have some information, but most likely not. I'm just gonna go ahead and guess. I do like the lighting in this game. There's a good use of color and light. Um, and you know what? They did okay with the texture work too, you know what I mean? It's That's what I'm saying. Like, New York is supposed to look totally run down and disgusting, and but that's why I don't like it, because I get bored of being there. I'm just like, I kind of want to see something else. You know, like I said, this sells the sort of cyberpunk. This this is more closely related to something like in Blade Runner than than anything in New York. New York is just like completely like almost like third world, you know. I'm meeting someone. Like worse than third world, like war torn hey, third world. Where are you from? The states. We're from Australia. Hmm. On vacation. Let's just wait for Russ. He's kind of cute. What's your name? JC. Is this a good club? Oh, totally. And it's a red arrow place. They get everything real cheap. Look, can we ask a big, big favor? Sure. My friend. Sure. And I, it's so silly. We left our credit cards at the hotel. Think you could get us in? How much do you need? Only twenty each. We get in for twenty. Yeah, let's do it. Forty bucks. Sure. Sure. Well, you like to dance then? Let's go. You're so bad. Mm, leather boots for you. Twenty-five credits. <laughs> Here you go. Perfect. She I doesn't like her boots. To stand in the spotlight and growl at the women like a dog who needs a master. What a weirdo! Thanks for getting me in. I was gonna make an inappropriate joke there, but I just said, "What the hell?" Oh, okay. Thanks for getting me in. Hello. That was so cool, man. Thank you so much. Do you know Max Chen? He runs this place. No problem. We go way back. Wanna dance? Mmm, bet you've got some moves I haven't seen before. There's only one way to find out. Let me loosen up a bit. Mind if I borrow 10 credits to get a drink? These harpies are just after my bank account. Anything you want. But You're so cool, JC. I'm so glad I met you. The original you. simp, JC Denton. Thanks for getting me in. How about that dance? I gotta be really drunk to dance when it's almost empty like this. Think you could buy me another drink? She's spending all my money. You're so cool, JC. I'm so glad I met you. Hello. This is where simping Hi. leads you, my you. friends. Absolutely fucking nowhere. Just keep this in mind. See, once again, very relevant. Uh, Deus Ex is staying as relevant as fucking ever. How about that dance? I gotta be really. How how far does this thing? You're so. Thanks for getting me. Is she just gonna bleed me dry? How about that dance. I gotta. I, I, I'm curious if there's an end to this. Hello. Thanks. Mercedes. And Tessa. How about that dance? I got. Uh. Sorry. I'll pay you back. I got you in. I'm not paying for anything else. Don't have to get knocky. Jeez. Hello. Thanks for getting me in. I wanted to see J C Denton I dance. I feel silly. I, you look. Good. Can you get him to do that? I'm trying to dance. I want to dance with my friend. Hi. Don't you like to dance? This is how I dance. I'm not even, uh, you know, that's, that's, I'm not referring to the video game either. I mean, this is just, oh, I thought there was like a whole other dance where I was like, man, this place is huge. Get something to eat after this? Maybe I don't think so. Good evening. Hello there. Great place here, isn't it? You have the wrong idea about the triad, you know. In what way? They run the economy. The black market prices in clubs like this let people have a good time. Mr. Singh. Good evening. Hello there. 
Do you know a man named Max Chen? Of course I know Max. A terrific fella. Do you know where I can find him? In the back room. He runs the whole Red Arrow from here. Hey, you're not with the police, are you? I'll tell you later. <laughs> tell you later. Hello. I love the voice actor. I would have paid you back. Thanks for getting me. Oh, great. Now I can't even get a drink. I like your tattoo. Really? Oh, wait a minute. Was I supposed to go buy Hello. her one? You know what? Do we have a... Wow, that was way far back. I work for the but I wanna see I think we have to buy her yeah, okay. What do you think of the luminous path? Try it. How do you many publicate? What do you think? Okay, we didn't even read these. Gray death cases uh, misdiagnosed, Hong Kong Standard. Authorities confirmed today that a number of mysterious illnesses reported in the area clinics were not cases of gray death, as had previously been feared, but merely a seasonal outbreak of influenza. Dr. Cheng Lam of the People's Health Administration headed to the inquiry, uh, headed the inquiry, saying, I can say with complete certainty that these cases exhibit absolutely none of the symptoms of the so-called gray death, cases which, I might add, have so far only been reported in the less well-managed cities of America and Europe. Those malcontents who have spread rumors to the contrary are merely feeding upon the unjustified fears of the hard-working men and women of Hong Kong. Dr. Lam went on to say that anyone observed making such claims should be reported to local party leaders for counseling. Hmm, does this sound familiar at all? China denying uh, outbreaks of particular diseases, uh, especially citing along political or, or national lines, hmm, something like that. God, this is the perfect year to be playing Deus Ex. Canal Road Tunnel Collapse, Hong Kong Standard. Explosions rocked the Wan Chai District two days ago as fighting between the warring triads resulted in a cave-in and flooding of the Canal Road Tunnel, effectively halting almost all access to and from the Wan Chai area. While fighting occurred in the early hours of the morning and traffic was late, a number of bystanders were trapped during the fighting and subsequently presumed dead. The names of the deceased have not been released at this time. Police have barricaded the area at the Wan Chai Terminal and forbidden any access until a thorough forensic analysis can be made and the bodies removed. In a statement released earlier today, the police declined to name any suspects, though Chief Joey Leung expressed that the reprehensible nature of the crime would not go unanswered by the Hong Kong police. Jacob's Shadow by Andrew Hammond, Chapter 20. Samuel looked at him from across the table, but he might as well have been peering at Jacob from the Devil's Own Palace in the Deep Blue Sea. After a moment, Samuel rubbed his roomy eyes. You ever wonder about morals, he said. Jacob shook his head. I do. All the damn time. I wonder what it means to be good. If there's some tally that says, you only hurt ten people, so come on up. They're eleven and you're going straight to hell. Then I think maybe it's a little voice that tells you way back in your head. And then I wonder what happens when that voice goes away. Jacob reached under the table and put the little twenty-two pistol against one of Samuel's kneecaps. I don't think you're going to like my answer to that. Where is she? Twenty- uh, I guess twenty-two the kneecap would hurt like a fucking bitch. I don't know why you'd use it as a- Yeah, I guess. Mass driver accident kills over two thousand- <laughs> Oh god. Abadan, Nigeria, the historical first delivery of ore from the... We just learned about this in a previous episode, where the Chinese had established the first lunar mining colony and was going to use a mass driver to send it to Earth. And I was like, hmm, they're going to use a big kinetic driver to shoot a fucking bullet at the Earth? I'm sure that won't go wrong. The historical first delivery of ore from the Zhu Enlai lunar mining complex ended in tragedy today when a tar targeting error resulted in the payload slamming into the outskirts of a city in Ibadan in Nigeria. Thousands died in the initial blast that was compared to a small nuclear bomb as the payload impacted a sparsely populated suburb, while thousands more were left disoriented, homeless, and without power or water in the wake of the explosion. Chinese officials have halted all other deliveries from the Zhu Enlai complex and are working with both the United Nations and officials from McMoran Global Steel to determine the cause of the error. McMoran Global Steel was responsible for the construction of the mass driver, winning the contract from Page Industries in a heat heated bidding war. Obviously, we took the utmost precautions in building the Zhou and Light Driver, said spokesperson Sean Murphy, but something has gone terribly wrong. Our only real response at this point is to offer our condolences and aid to the people of Ibadan and ensure that such an event never occurs again. Huh. I don't, I mean, I did, I just read stuff, but whatever. Yes, a little something to All right, well, we already, we did some exploring around here. 
used to the compound Paul used to visit. But I don't know who belongs to. I think I'm clear now. Good thing the NSA invested in stealth technology. So I I didn't actually buy her a drink. I just thought I would keep giving her money. But let me go buy her a drink this time. I'm curious where this little side plot goes. Hey man, the state. We're from. Hmm. Let's put C on. JC. I would say. Sure. My friend. How much do you? Only twenty. Sure. Right. Yes, sir. Hmm. Here you go. Perfect. Let's talk to what's his face. Thug, no, here we go. Good evening. Hello. Great place. They run. Don't you agree? Have... Don't you agree? This have a good time. Oh, I need to talk to her about Max Chen first. Well, they're taking their sweet time getting in here. Hello. So I'm gonna keep just dancing around. Wait, do I have to wait for them to? Yeah. Okay. Thanks for getting me in. That was so cool, man. Thank you. No problem. Mmm. Bet you. There's only one. Let me loosen up a bit. Anything you. You're so cool, Jay. Thanks for getting me in. Good evening. Hello there. Do you know a man named Max Chen? Of course I know Max. A terrific fellow. Do you know where I can find him? In the back room. I'll tell you later. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and save now that we're here, and I'm gonna try buying her a drink to see if uh, if she's got any dirt on Max Chen. Talk to some other people I've around never here. I've seen so many troopers. They must be close to a breakthrough. Stay in the dance area. I Damn. don't like being in the dark. I don't believe I know you. Who are you? I think management is involved. Super in forty-five. Criminal. She's drinking a forty. Don't know if you should be saying that. Clearly supposed to be like Colt 45. I've never actually had that because I've never actually seen it for sale. Maybe it's more of an Hello. East Coast thing. Hello. Do you like to dance? Do you like to dance? Please, you choose. 100 credits. No thanks. I'll be waiting. Hello. Oh, sure. I know my needles. Have another drink? Don't mind if I do. <laughs> it's just called loser. Saying, well, women back home, they aren't like your daughter. I do very much wish to meet her. You are very handsome. You must have many girlfriends in your country. Oh, uh, come on. Nah. Is there a third level here? I guess so. You My friend and I were about to leave. Hi -ho, sir. Oh, his name is Lawrence, not Loser. Why was he called Loser before? Not a bad company if I do say so. There is 15. One is 120. 120 versus 15? What happened to the... I, I hope there's like a, a newspaper article about like massive like... Uh, uh, what is it called? Uh, plagues for uh, agriculture. Agricultural plagues. I, oh man, it was on the tip of my tongue, and I totally lost it. But you know what I'm saying? They're like massive grape shortages, or like some sort of like uh, disease that swept through crops, and now there's like I don't know two vineyards left on the planet. One hundred and fifty dollars for a glass of wine. I'll take a drink. Give me a forty. Give me a forty. Oops, forgot how much I was carrying. Hold on while I get rid of something. Is there anything I can get rid of here? You know, I can drop my soy stuff right now. And hopefully, because it's Deus Ex, it'll let me pick him up again. Take a I'll drink. Take a drink. Give me 40. Give me 40. Excellent. Alright. He seems to be Australian as well. Hello. How about that dance? I gotta be really drunk. Anything you want? You're so cool. Thanks for getting me in. Okay, so I don't actually have Hello? to, uh... Alright, that was my mistake. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'll just use it. 
Healed zero points. Oh, I'm drunk now. I guess 140 chugged that fast would do it. I'm gonna go drunkenly. Now that I'm drunk, maybe I can dance with her. Hello. Ah, uh, no. Thanks for getting me in. How about that dance? I got him. Anything you? You're so cool. All right. Thanks well. Thanks for getting me in. Hello. We're gonna try everything out. Actually, let's go ahead and save again. I'm gonna pick up one of these girl. Hello? Maybe Ling. Yeah, the tattoos aren't really doing it for me. The face tattoos. A dance partner for you. One hundred. Sure. Have a good time. What is your name? What is your job? You are handsome. What is your name? Welcome to Lucky. What is your job? Okay, so what Thanks was? For getting me in. How about that dance? My God. So okay, I don't know I what. I feel silly. You look good. Trying to figure out exactly what. A little more. There you go. Let's go. Yeah, this goes upstairs to the third level. What's going on here? Shake it. <laughs> I don't think I ever saw this in my life. You are handsome. Oh, she follows me around. Okay, that's cool. Oh, let's go dancing. Come out. Just prancing around here like a little deer. Come on. Get something to eat after this? Maybe some tea. But I want to go home. Take a bath. Where do you live? Not too far. Did she get lost? Where is she? She doesn't know how to go places. Handsome. Come on. We can do it. Just a little further. Almost to the dance floor. I like your tattoo. Really? The claw. What is your job? You are handsome. Okay. I Thanks guess that's all she does. Thanks for getting me in. Alright, let's Don't talk to this guy. Carat gold, actually. Not my style at all. Fine. Here is 15. Mine is 120. Can I ask you something? I want to know. Despite all I've read about the triads, I wasn't prepared to see them operating in the open, on the streets, and wearing uniforms. Doesn't the Chinese government care? Chinese leave Hong Kong alone. They barricade the roads to control trade from the mainland, but they now have businesses then. I would think the secret smuggling operations of the triads would disturb the Chinese government. Maybe the luminous path. But China knows that the red arrow of business owners, entrepreneurs, community leaders, and that they protect the city from outside influences. said outside influences. What does China fear? China is the last sovereign country in the world. Authoritarian but willing, unlike UN governed countries, to give its people the freedom to do what they want. As long as they don't break the law. Listen to me. This is real freedom. Freedom to arm property, make your profit, make your life. The West, so afraid of strong government, now has no government. Only financial power. Our governments have limited power by design. Rhetoric? You believe it? Don't you know where these slogans come from? I give up. Well paid researchers. How do you say it? Think tanks? Funded by big businesses. What is that? A think tank? Hardly as sinister as a dictator, like Chang's premier. Privately funded propaganda. The Trilateral Commission in the United States, for instance. Man, they're really on and on about this Trilateral Commission. I like how we just went down the rabbit hole of, like, trying to red pill each other <laughs> at the bar. <laughs> Oh my god. Uh, this is great. The separation of powers acknowledges the petty ambitions of individuals. That's its strength. A system organized around the weakest qualities of individuals will produce the same qualities in its leaders. Perhaps certain qualities are an inseparable part of human nature. 
market the educated man is the suppression of these qualities in favor of better ones. The same is true of civilization. Man. Uh I'm looking for Max Chen. Is that sad? What is it being? I need to find Tracer Tong. Are you crazy? I can't even say that name in here. I'll get a drink later. You are handsome. Experiment? <laughs> I like experiment. I do not like the way you look. I guess she's not brave enough to follow me in the bathroom. I stand corrected. What is your name? You are handsome. Gangsters! They're all gangsters! They were cutting him and laughing and stabbing their sword. I cannot. I am not allowed. Okay, I think we talked to pretty much everybody in here. There's a back room there, but that looks like a storeroom for the bar. And then I'm pretty sure where Max you Chen is handsome. back there. Let's see what our goals say. Alright, well, Lucky Money Club didn't seem to work out. I don't think she follows us, but we'll see. Where'd she go? Does she just follow us for the rest of the game? That would be funny. All right, we have a sidekick now. I cannot. I am not allowed. This is awesome. All right, I just need to start equipping her with inventory. Don't worry, we'll find you a gun. It's like a life aquatic with Sea Uh did, did anyone give you a Glock yet? Can we get can we get Harold a Glock? And they're just all armed all the time for some reason. I'm not the biggest Wes Anderson fan. I'm not into his sort of hipstery bullshit, but uh, I that was a that was a pretty interesting movie. I liked that movie. I liked you know Bill Murray in anything is pretty great. Ah, uh, she just vanished. Actually, let's go back and see if she's still there. Time is up. <laughs> Time is up. One customer twice. Not allowed. Oh god. Well, I guess that was my evening with the with the the lady. Okay. Let's go ahead and save again. Let's go check out the temple here. See, I think Deus Ex has very nice pacing because of the fact that they break up a lot of action-heavy segments with, uh, like, these kind of areas where you just go around and explore things. This is a cool area. I like the texture work and color in here. See, that's what I'm saying. Deus Ex, the, the first Deus Ex, especially the Hong Kong levels, they have a really great use of texture work, lighting, color, all sorts of stuff to make the world come alive and New York just looks like hell. Unfortunately you spend a lot of time there. So kind of just looks like hell the whole time. Take all. Old chair. She said no. Impossible. She said she has made other arrangements. That had auto? She was very rude. You know what to do. Yes sir. Don't waste any time. I think he's gonna go, go bomb the newspaper lady. My brother's name is Paul Denton. I heard that he was a frequent visitor to this compound. You know him? The Rumonos party is close to Guaylos. Paul is no friend of the West. My name is Gordon Quick. I know your brother, but you are not him. They say you are royal to Unatko. I was before Paul showed up in New York. 
day later, I was helping the NSF. You want me to take your word? You are in Hong Kong now, and we are businessmen. Paul earned our trust by working with us. I don't have time for games. No games. We would like another ally like Paul. The tryouts are at war, thanks to a woman named Maggie Chow. A sword was stolen from the Red Arrow Triad. And Miss Chow started the war by blaming us, the Romanus Path. Why is one sword so important? It is an extraordinary sword, called the Dragon's Tooth. Nanotechnology developed by the Red Arrows for Morita before he was murdered. We know that Chow is a liar, but we have no proof. I'll go speak to her, but first I need to find a man called Tracer Tong. I need his help. Mr. Tong deals with businessmen, not beggars or strangers who might be spies. Chow lives at 1313 Tonochi Road. Be observant. Find and examine that sword. It is the evidence we need. You guys hearing that sound glitch? But then I'll need to see Tong, or I won't be your ally. Guy sounds like a fucking demon. Hours. Okay, so I don't know exactly what just happened there. Let's go check out the newsstand lady and see what's going on. Damn, this kid's a little pain in the ass, kind of ready to snipe him. Have you heard of me? Okay. Something stanky over here. Alright, so let's go ahead and quick save and... Please, look around. What were we doing? What are our goals? Find and examine the drafts to sort of proof regarding whether or not Maggie Chow is telling the truth. 1313 Tanachi Road. Well, I do like that sword, if you guys are not familiar. It's this old China hand. It's another club, I believe. Oh no, it's a uh, sort of creepy... Uh... Well, let's explore this a little bit. Maybe there's some cool stuff to find. These apartments and stuff. See, I love this, you know, like the street lights and the, the all of this stuff. This is great. Oh, nothing down here. Oh, there's a way to get into the canals. Oh, I forgot. They have this stupid system where, like, if you go... You should be able to get back in through the, the steps, but you can't, so you have to go, like, over where the boats are, I believe, and that's how you get in. It's super obnoxious. And I don't even know if we can get in here. We may have to reload a save, because... Yeah, see? Where you get in through the... I can't remember how you get back... This is ridiculous. Okay, so God, I can't believe this. We have to load a fucking quick save because we fell in the water. Please look around. Tanachi Road is this way. Some police there. Another way to get over there is over here. And then there's this upper level here. We could try and check out the old China hands, which I think we should probably do regardless. What is this? Um, yeah, let's do it. Let's check it out. I haven't been there in a while. It's so eerie here at night. That guy's pretty chill, I guess. At least my targeting reticle thinks he is. Yeah, I do remember getting in and out of the water in this part of the mission, it's, or this part of the game. It sucks. It's so terrible. What's this? That's a nice person. Well, okay, let's just check out. Yeah, it said Tanachi Road. Maybe this is the way to Tanachi Road. I don't remember. She looks like a... 
Tanachi Road in Chai District. I bet you come from the market. That's where I want to go. My mother said there's too much fighting. I have to stay here. You are an unfamiliar face on Tonochi Road. I'm here on business from Gordon Quick. You are here to speak to Miss Chow, perhaps. Half a block down on the left. Thank you. The woman is a snake. Believe nothing she says. I like this area too. It's very cool. Yeah, it's so eerie and, and like with the just the sort of light drum in the background. Oh, we're gonna go this way though. One thing that I like about um I was walking here. I can see that buddy. One thing that I like about the Deus Ex prequels though is they give you a lot more not advisable for tourists to visit the canals at night. There are a lot more ways that you can influence the outcome of What the hell is that? Is that a ship? This is reminding me of Thief 2 now. Well, we're gonna go ahead and save. I kind of want to go down on this ship. Uh, let's go to settings and game options. Oh. Colors, there we go. I'm gonna pick a different menu color scheme. I'm getting sick of this one. Cyan is pretty cool. That's kind of cool. Dusk. Earth. Gray, Ion Storm, that's pretty cool. Lava, Lava's cool. Night Vision, Ninja, Olive, Pale Green, Pastel, Plasma, Primaries, Purple, Red, Seawater, Soiling Green, Starlight, Steel, Steel Green, Superhero, Terminator, Violet, Default, Blue and Gold. I think I want to do Plasma. I guess that didn't really change that much. Okay, so we saved, and now we're gonna go ahead and activate this. And get onto that damn boat. Bet you there's something we can steal here. Nope, she's a nice lady. Maybe she won't bust us for getting on her boat and taking her stuff. Or is that a lady or is that a... No, that's a lady. Good evening, sir. Slow night. Not at all. Everyone requires sampan now that the Triads destroy Canal Road Tunnel. Why'd they do that? Fighting in the tunnel, sir. Five nights ago, that is caved in and flooded. That must have hurt the shops in Wan Chai. <sighs> People have died. Yesterday, four Europeans arrived. Treasure hunters. They are here to dive in the ruins and loot the bodies. Must be the year of the vulture. It is an ugly business, but a profitable one. They have given me a commission if I can sell the weapon mods they have already recovered. I have modifications for accuracy, reload, and recoil. For 750, 600, and 400. Reload might be nice for the assault rifle, but recoil is more important. Here's 400 for the recoil mod. Wait, I've got to drop something first. My damn soy products. Ready to buy? Here's 400 for the recoil mod. Very good. Okay, we're gonna go to skills. No, what am I doing? Inventory, we were already there. <laughs> it's getting late, people. Uh, gonna put the recoil down on this. Recoil is now 0.5 minus, so it's 0.4. Um, 
Just to put that in perspective's sake, let's see what the recoil on the sniper rifle is. Recoil is 0.4, so that should be pretty significant. Um, a pretty, I hope it doesn't walk up as much. That's the biggest issue I'm having with that damn gun, is it just walks up like crazy. Okay, so that's how we get on and off the boat. Doesn't look like she has much out. Ooh, she's got stuff in the hold. Lab flask, crates, data chip, data cube. Log entry, took that damn repair bot we picked up last week and wired him to the engine compartment. He might finally be useful, give us enough power to clear the maritime patrols before it burns out. Now we just have to wait for harbor master clearance. Okay, the repair bot, it should be somewhere around here, right? Maybe we have to go outside the ship or something. Another med kit, very nice. Nope. Well, might as well. Now I'm curious where the damn uh, repair bot is. Don't give me that. It should have been down. Alright, let's try the, what, China Hand Luck, whatever it's called. <gasps> Old China Hand, that's what it's called. <laughs> let's go try that. Tenachi Road. What's over here? 50. 75. Well, 75. Double UO Glow. Original one kilo bricks. Pure. 90 for both. Hey, you! Who's that? You made a big mistake, homeboy. <laughs> What the hell? I upgraded my melee specifically so I could merc fools with this thing. What's the point of all this? Alright, well. Not sure I'm happy about that because uh, they did actually do quite a bit of damage to me. Let's see, yeah, look at our health. Yeah, torso 52. I guess there's not really that much over here. It's just kind of... Yeah, guys, I'm just trying to, you know, explore the whole place. What is this? Crowbar 40, got a charger, part charger, cannot pick up the multi-tool, okay. Yeah, I didn't care about them because they wanted to just get violent with me immediately. Fuck those guys. And go to hell. Come by in the morning, sampan rides. Okay, so we're gonna go down to the old China hand here. And uh check it out because I don't really know I don't remember what it is I don't remember going there last time maybe I did maybe I didn't I can't recall what is am I in the kit you know what I, there was probably another way in here that I missed combat knife soda I'm just eating pigeons well, they do that in Egypt 
Apparently it's a delicacy. I guess this is supposed to be ice on this floor. That looks suspiciously like a wall that can move. Right. Yeah. Yeah, there's ice on the floor. Strangely creepy. Whoever did the lighting here? Textures are freaking out. Actually, where are our skill points at? Still pretty low, I mean, especially considering some of the stuff we're looking at buying. We can finally get electronics, um, or computer, or rifle if we want to. Uh, but not all together, I mean, I kind of want to upgrade a bunch of stuff at once, just so it's like, okay, now we're like a badass character build, but... Ooh, this is the collapsed part of the bridge, I had no idea that you could go here. This is pretty cool, I don't think I've ever done this. Shit. Probably don't want to be here. Yeah, I don't want to fight that stupid thing. Uh, load game, what's the... Oh shit, did we not save before going on that girl's boat? No, we didn't. Oh well, we can just go quickly down and go buy the recoil mod. Let's... Um, yeah, we were just exploring, so we don't need to redo most of that. Um, if we don't absolutely need to. Oh yeah, there's some stuff on her boat we need to get down here. Another lock pick always helps Okay, grab this real quick, uh, read the data cube thing. Um, grab another med kit. Alright, so we did with the old china hand, which I guess was just a kitchen. Like, that seems like the back entrance to, like, a restaurant or something. Um, so I think that was not necessarily where we we're supposed to go. So yeah, let's just go straight for to find Maggie Chow and make a deal with her. Let's go ahead and turn this off. Where did, what's her face go? There she is. Good evening, sir. Slow night. That, I think that must, people, must be, it is an, here's, wait. Forgot I gotta drop all this crap. Uh, inventory, drop these. Why didn't I just drop something that's just a count of one? Ready to buy? I guess games like Resident Evil make me uh, 400 for the recoil really mod. terrified of dropping Very anything good. out of my inventory. Inventory, and we're gonna go ahead and put this on the assault rifle. Okay, we got all that stuff. Let's get the hell out of here. Um, and because we're just exploring, I keep forgetting to save even when we've done stuff that you might want to save so you don't have to redo it again. In case you die or get stuck, like what just happened to us. You have no idea where that collapsed tunnel leads. Um, and while I would like to explore it, you know, swimming, they say swimming is a useless skill in this game, and it's largely true, but 
at the same time, you do need the skill uh, if you're going to be exploring and swimming, so just keep that in mind. Not advisable for tourists to visit the canals at night. That's okay. I myself have been watching Miss Chow. She just met with Max Chen. So this is 1313, Queen's Tower. That's where Maggie Chow lives. I could try and direct approach to go talk to her. But we're gonna explore around a little bit. They left over an hour ago. I'm looking for a way into this building. Use front of building. Only try a use sidewall living back. Good advice. Eight picks. And there's a fucking camera right there. That's a lot. I'd want the key, I think. Uh. All the harsh, dark uh, shadows in this game make it look a lot uh, bigger than it is in certain in instances. Maggie Chow wants to see me. I assume that's her hotel across the street? That is correct. How do I get up to see her? The main elevator. Maggie Chow would be angry if you arrived any other way. Yeah, you know, last time I just broke in and stole everything from her, um, and I kind of want to see if I can take a more tactful approach this time, because that was... I wouldn't say it was ill-advised, but uh, it definitely caused some issues in this level. So, let's go ahead and save, and let's just try and talk to her and see what she has to say. Welcome to Queen's Tower. Party Leader Zan, I was much inspired by your speech to our local community resource center and I wish to do my part in helping to maintain a free China. As you have said, there are many threats to that freedom both within and without. It is with glad heart then that I am able to inform you of suspicious activities on the part of Dr. Tracy Fang. Dr. Fang has declared on on a number of occasions that he believes cases of gray death are going untreated, a situation I cannot believe the party would permit, and has often been observed leaving at odd hours on what he declares to be family emergencies. I believe that Dr. Feng is a good individual with the best hopes for Hong Kong and China at heart and could thus benefit from counseling. Oh, yes. Ms. Chow was kind enough to bring there. this to my attention and should be saluted for, many, for the many hours of entertainment and happiness she has brought to these Chinese people. Oh yeah, yeah, so they're uh, snitching to the Chinese government on a doctor who's going out to treat cases of Grey Death because the Chinese government denies that people are even contracting Grey Death because it would be politically, well, it would be a political disadvantage to admit that the Western disease has actually reached China. So, uh, once again, do you guys... Where have we heard that before? Where have we seen things like this before? I've never heard of anything like that. Hmm. Uh, let's go ahead and quick save. Talk to this guy. Seven Ford is closed for renovations. You may use the residential directory computer if you know how. Is this it? Let's go ahead and hack this. We might want to turn off certain security measures just in case Miss Chow starts, I don't know, a firefight with us or something. Okay, camera status off. Uh, locked, open. Off. Off. Nice. So now we've broken into the back entrance there if we want to. So we're going to make another hard save. And I'm going to talk to her first. If she turns out to be a bitch, um, we are going to uh, steal it from her. Lobby. The Queen's Tower has provided discreet, luxurious accommodations for over 200 years. Our clientele are treated to not only the most elegant amenities uh, in all of Hong Kong, including our indoor pool, spa, gymnasium, and clinic, but also protected 24 hours a day by automated security and around-the-clock surveillance. Respectfully, the recreation floor is reserved for residents. By request, the residence code has been made unavailable. By request, okay. Tracy Fang, Bobby Ryan. The floor is currently undergoing re renovations in an effort to create the most modern, comfortable living space possible for future re residents. If you would like to examine the floor, uh, 
prior, prior to leasing or purchasing a residence here, please sign in on our on-site manager and use code 3444. Okay, so 3444 for renovations for... The Queen's Tower cannot, of course, be held responsible for any accidents incurred during unescorted tours to the work area of the work area. Maggie Chow grants you access. Please use the private penthouse elevator. Penthouse elevator. Okay. Hmm. Well. So we're going to talk to her first. Chow. You must be Mr. Denton. Miss Chow has been expecting you. She is waiting in the living room. Please follow me. Nice place here. That was on? Didn't look on. I will accompany you. I know how to play my own theme. I can hear security systems over there, so let's go follow the maid. So look at this, the, the painted shadows on here, through there. That's a pretty cool effect. A lot of detail. The floor coverings were made by hand in Tibet. Can I help myself to a drink, please? Or something? Take a look around. Yeah, I'll go upstairs. That's cool. Secret doors. Okay, you said take a look around. Hello? Whoever's out there is a serious problem. Mr. J.C. Denton, in the fresh. As dark and serious as his brother. You know who I am. And Paul? You know my brother? Intimately. Call me Maggie. Paul never mentioned you. That is why he is still alive. He can keep a secret, even from his own brother. But why... Paul told you about Majestic 12, correct? The conspiracy behind you, Natko? Just the name. Majestic 12 sent Paul to murder the former Red Arrow leader. And me, too. And he double-crossed them? Rest to say, I persuaded him to join our side. What does Majestic 12 want with the Red Arrow? We are winning the Triad War against Majestic 12's ally, the Luminous Path. We were developing a new technology. You might have heard about a sword. The Dragon's Tooth, right? The Triad settled disputes in contests of skill, which includes the crafting of weapons. The Dragon's Tooth would have made us unstoppable. So Majestic 12, they're trying to tip the balance, give the Luminous Path a technological advantage. Exactly. I tried to warn the people of the danger. And the Luminous Path calls me a liar. The police have all the evidence they need to settle this. Locked up in the station at the Wan Chai Market. But they will not act. Go and see. I know the code to their vault. 87342. It's only fair to tell you that I spoke with Gordon Quick before coming here. I thought he was a friend of my brother's. I agreed to visit you and learn the truth of the situation. Yes, you were seen. The new Red Arrow leader is Max Chen, and you don't have to go to the Lucky Money for him to know your activities. Now tell me about Paul. Why did he not return? Paul's on his way to Hong Kong. I don't know when he will arrive. Then you must think for yourself. In Hong Kong, the truth is seldom kept in plain sight. Huh. I'm glad I talked to her first, because now I have a code to that vault, and it might uncover some more interesting stuff. Although, if I miss out on getting that sword, I'm going to be sorely pissed. Of course, I don't think there's anything in Deus Ex stopping me from helping Maggie Chow and then coming back to get the benefits of that and then coming back later and just taking the fucking sword. So we can always try that. Alright, let's go back to the Wen Chai Market. I bet you come from the market. Alright, let's go back to the police station. Not advisable for tourists to visit the canals at night. Can't believe I need a special 
nano machine augment to just get over this stupid little area. We can turn it off now, deactivate. Alright, there we go. I think the safest way back into the police station is this way. Seven three four two. Got another lamb. Don't need that flamethrower right now. Thirty out six ammo. Don't mind if I do. Plasma clip. I'm okay. Ballistic armor. I'm okay. Seven six two. Bioelectric cell. Couple of data code cubes. Gas grenade. Might as well take the napalm just in case I do pick up a flamethrower at some point. From one Chai District Post 11384 to Central Police Command HK, attached you will find surveillance report for the activities of the subject Maggie Chow. Miss Chow's associations with the Red Arrow Triad and its dragon head. Uh, Max Chen are a matter of record. However, recent evidence indicates that she may also have been involved with the death of Chen's predecessor, Young Kong, a contributing factor to the current gang war. Ms. Chow and her relationship to the Versalife Corporation are also under investigation, but show a high probability of being linked to the recent conflict between the triads. District officers are respectfully asked to note that there are several tactical options for accessing Ms. Chow's penthouse, a service entrance at the rear of the uh, address, the renovation project in progress on the building 7th floor, and the roof. These options are outlined more fully in the surveillance report if it becomes necessary to detain Ms. Chow or search her premises. Commander Chung. I thought this was supposed to absolve her. From Central Police Command, Incident Review. Officer Tam, Tam Dragon, is hereby cleared of all charges of negligence or misconduct in incident reference. It is the opinion of this tribunal that Officer Tam's use of deadly force was not only necessary but proper in his attempt to minimize civilian casualties. No need for further counseling or review is found at this time. The One Chai Incident Tribunal. Uh, okay. Once again, I thought Maggie Cho wanted me to go check this out. Uh, let's see what the goals say. Look for clues to find the streets of the compound that probably okay. Deactivate the weapons lock on Jock's helicopter. Find evidence in the police station in the Wen Chai market that will settle the triad dispute. Bring it to Maggie Chow and earn her trust. Was this not it? How is this not it? That might be it, I'm not sure. I did it. I did it. Did anybody see? Yeah, I think so. It doesn't matter. We got her payment. Plus interest. Get back and see if she runs something. Okay. Something going on with this uh, news lady in the triads. Please put a newspaper back. You are done. 
Kid hates me. Maybe it's Canal Road. I don't suppose it matters too much. Oh wait, no. This is... What the hell is this? Oh shit. So I guess we're gonna go talk to her and tell her what we found. I don't know if it's enough for... None of your concern. Shit. I guess this was the wrong road. I think I, I remember this area now from the last time I played this. Let's go ahead and hack this, see if we can get any more money. I could have sworn I got spit out somewhere around here. Where the hell is Tanachi Road? I told you, bad people around here. I am your new watchman. The dragon head said I am your watchman. 50 credits every day. That's better than a hundred. I can make a profit as it is. I will do a good job. Oh, I guess I have to go this way. Tenachi Road. What the hell is this? Oh. Okay. Yeah, it's just like it. This the game's lighting is a little too dark in areas. So we're gonna see what Maggie Chow has to say for herself. Or perhaps it's the police that are trying to orchestrate this. I'm not really sure what that note was meant to sort of tell us that we didn't already know. You know. Where the hell is she now? I'm sorry. Miss Chow is not at home. Yeah, well, tell her I know she double-crossed the Red Arrow, and I intend to prove it. You are mistaken, Miss Chow. She should never have sent me to the police station. Now I know she's hiding something, and I intend to find out what it is. No. No. You are mistaken. Guards! This is probably not the best way I could have handled this situation. Yeah, like, why did she send me there if she knew I was going to find proof that she was in cahoots? Ooh, security computer terminal. Can't go wrong with these. Okay, let's go ahead and hack this and uh, make sure that we turn off whatever needs to be turned off. Okay, camera status off. Door unlocked. Open. Camera off. Camera off. Log out.
feel bad I had to kill her in maid though. Actually, I guess I didn't. I could have hit her with the baton. I just I thought we were getting into a big firefight. Yeah, my no kill run is really turning into quite the bloodbath. Especially since I was trying to avoid killing civilians and stuff, but you know we're gonna live with our decisions here. I'm gonna kill this cat because it's gonna make fucking noise. Give my position away. Yeah, I'm just turning into like an evil person now. Aha! Oh, yeah, there's a lighting bug in in Chow's apartment for sure. The True Way by Kishiro Yoshitaka. If one is to imagine the perfect sword that can cut and swing with no resistance, a sword that is an extension of the mind and heart of the warrior who wields it and not a dead weight of steel, then it becomes clear that the sword is of little consequence compared to the will of the, will of the strategist. Those who would master the way must come to understand this. A sword is a tool whose purpose is to cut. Each day the strategist must practice this until it is not a practice, but a part of their spirit. The strategist knows that every sword they wield is perfect, for their will is perfect, and it is through their will alone that they win battles. Okay, let's wax philosophical, why don't we? Um, I wonder where the hell Maggie Chow went. She is trying my patience. Yeah, this is actually the, the stealth weapon for uh, that we need. But not the one we deserve. Uh, tai Fun by Lin Ye. The history of the triads in many ways is the history of modern China. Popular myth holds that the triads originated as a resistance movement against the Qing dynasty after it descended from Manchuria to seize the capital of Peking by force. When faced with a rebellion in the... Fukien province, the Qing dynasty recruited an order of warrior monks who were later deemed expendable by the emperor and all but exterminated. Survivors organized a number of secret monasteries and became known as the Hung Mun, uh, dedicated to overthrowing uh, the Qings. The Hung Mun showed a remarkable political adaptability, portraying themselves as protectors of the people even as they accepted money from Japanese corporate fronts during World War II. Miss Hundley, it has become necessary to change my system password since it has uh, become compromised. We'll encrypt the new password and forward it to you shortly. Please note that any access attempts made using Thai funds should be tagged and traced for interrogation. Hmm. Insurgent by X. When faced with the subversion of an organized ruling body, external action, even when executed in concert as a group, is often ineffectual. True revolution can only come from uh, come from working within, and in this, the ultimate change can be brought about by individual by an individual is magnified by the very machinery that such organizations utilize to maintain their authority. Historically, ruling bodies are always outnumbered by those they rule, but still they manage to maintain a disproportionate amount of power through a combination of tradition, confusion, and punishment. An operative who learns to simulate a, the veneer of a loyalist and guard their own secret heart can utilize those very same tools to overthrow such organizations or shift them to more ideologically pleasing access. Mmm, once again, anything sound familiar? to what's going on in modern day politics, not just in the US guys, across the globe. Once again, a prophetic and relevant game. Hello Maggie, I swear I will never forget your birthday again. July 18th is marked on the calendar forever. Okay. July 18th, Maggie's birthday. Still feel bad about killing the maid. That was not absolutely necessary. So we're going to go ahead and save again here. Uh, when you have the time, Mary Sung, I would suggest that you read two of my favorite books, in Insurgent and Tai Fun. I believe you'll find both of them both of them as illuminating as I have. They're in my office. I would if you'd like to borrow them, Maggie. Okay, so Insurgent and Typhon, Insurgent, Typhon, 
Typhon will be tagged if we use it, so that's not the password we should use. We could try uh, the birthday, Maggie's birthday. Um, we could check if there's a calendar anywhere and try that. What did this data cube say? Password since okay, tie fun. So we don't have, uh, but I mean, we already got in there anyways. We just hacked it. It's fine. I didn't see any of the computers yet, so. She had a pistol. Oh, okay. Um, oh, we can get rid of this. Great. Okay, so let's get rid of this stupid pistol. So we may still have to go and find a way to break in to grab the stuff, but at least we've disabled some of the security stuff from this side of the apartment. But I can't believe there's not a secret door that we can open to start accessing her vault or whatever. So we know there's MJ-12 troopers in the building because the <laughs> subtitles are telling us. Uh, the piano doesn't do it. Okay. Now let's hope that she doesn't sick the military on us. Seems to be okay so far. Okay, haven't angered the police or anybody else yet, but we did open this up, so I think we're going to try getting in through here. Nope, that's not the right code. Nothing down here. All right, we'll use a multi-tool to get through there. And uh, hope we don't get killed by being squashed by an elevator. Multi-tool. Did we get a three-digit code anytime recently? I don't remember. Or how about 
718. There we go. That was it. We need these damn things taken offline. Okay, so we know the code for that. Maybe we can find an electrical bypass around here. Uh... there. Helipad here. That's just the roof entrance to our house. No, can't it get in through here? I was hoping that there would be a panel or something like that here that we could use. Um, Okay, we're gonna go ahead and deactivate these two so we don't run through all our cells. Maybe we can take this ladder down and find a way to take out the security system. You can always try that, because this is a little weird. that there's nothing I can do to, to hack this. Okay, because I think, yeah, there's a an area right here. A scramble grenade. Maybe the scramble grenade will take out the, the things? The lasers? Okay, well then how the hell do I get out of here now? That's weird. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and equip. We're gonna get rid of the baton in our right here. We're gonna go ahead and equip that. Okay, scramble grenade broadcast short range polymorphic broad. Okay, the insignia causes bots within the radius uh, of effect to scramble attack other bots until command control can be reestablished. Like a lamb, scramble grenades can be attached to any surface. That doesn't sound good. Thermoptic camel. Uh, can render agent to both humans and bots dynamically refracting light and radar waves however the high power drain short terms use okay that doesn't help us we kind of would need some EMP grenades or something huh. honestly I'm really surprised that there's no way to hack the the laser grid there this just doesn't make any sense in terms of like Deus Ex how Deus Ex is typically played Hmm. Oh, damn it. 
I don't think I can tell you how many times that happened to me. Uh, the first time I ever played this. Okay, so 718. Seriously weird, seriously weird. Like, like, it doesn't make any sense. The only thing I can think of is maybe an EMP grenade would do it. Now I'm sort of regretting that. No, I'm not regretting that, not really. But I was like, it'd be nice to have that EMP blast, you know. Um. All right, we can try going in guns blazing, make a new hard save. That didn't work at all. That didn't work at all. All right, let's load game. Okay, so. Let's use another cell. Activate this. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and put, uh, equip a lamb. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and equip this. And then we'll take out the shotgun, I think, maybe. Okay, that sort of worked. What does this switch do? case there were anybody, any guards not alerted to the major uh, security freak out there. Okay, so there's a dragon tooth sword. Oh, god damn it. Every time. All right. Well, here's another, no, that's not a bio cell. Here's the thing. All right. Nope, don't need that. Okay, actually, we're gonna go ahead and eat a bunch of soy. So we can conserve med kits. I can't carry any more lock picks? Really? Wow. So, let's go ahead and make a new save, and let's start hacking everything. Good news is we don't have to deal with any security systems. Camera off, unlocked, open, off, off. Okay, so we already got these. Uh, with the previous thing that we hacked. So. We need to find a way to turn these damn lasers off. Actually, I guess we don't. We're fine either way. Let's 
see what kind of strength this thing has. 50%. Can we open it with this? No, it's reinforced. How many lockpicks do we have? Jeez, 20? Okay. Well, what's in there? Do we need anything in there? Okay, we've got... Yeah, 20 HE, that would be nice, and a weapon mod. I don't know what it is. We can always uh, save and load. Was it? Uh, 718. There we go. Oh, I thought there was an odd canister in there. I was mistaken. Good. Now take the sword to Max Chin at the Lucky Money Club. If you can make peace among the triads, then perhaps I can help you in your difficulties. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and drop this. Still don't have enough space, really? Okay, can we eat these? And then put this here, and then maybe that will... Okay, great. Okay, new to DayQ, transcript, begin time code, record... Oh press the movement button um you know you took the sword you you know you took it uh from the wrong place and the wrong people and now you're in pain you know how much i hate to see you in pain baby i am the dragon head of the red red arrow triad and you are a hollow woman uh maggie chow i'm much more than that you am i'm the only thing standing between you and a world of hurt and darkness and shame tell me where the sword is and maybe you'll die soon and you you're such a bad or you are a bad actress unknown sound and you have one less finger. Recording ends. Hmm, now we know how to get under her skin. Kinda wanna... Ms. Chow, we are reassigning you temporarily. Put the long-term agenda on hold until Versa Life has met its deadline. It will be months and probably years before the Red Arrow can influence Beijing, whereas, well, I'm sure you heard about my appointment. We are in position to make a grab for Washington. We can't let this one slip through our fingers. Make sure the process stays on the schedule. Okay, guys. Well, this is the Dragon Tooth Sword, so I didn't give it much of an introduction before. Actually, you know what? Come on, seriously? Anyways, uh, it's basically a lightsaber. It does a ton of damage, and I'm hoping... I'm actually going to look this up if our stats are actually going to buff... Um, Buff how much damage it actually does. I think this is how you get here from the uh, the renovation project. Okay, so we've gotten everything we need in here. Um, oh, except for this. Let's just go ahead and hack this in case there's anything important on here. Because we don't want to use her sign in because there's going to be a tracker according to it, which means, I don't know, it may send more people as soon as it uh, goes off. So, open weapon case, uh, log out. Great, we didn't have to waste the, uh, I think, right? Nope, that's not the, where's the weapon case? I think it's this, the one in the center of the room. Damn it. Oh, well. It could be the one in her house, though, so we might go back to her house later after we've done this and uh, try to get in there. So let's go ahead and make another save. We're going to lockpick this. If it's like if the stuff doesn't seem to be worth it, um, we, we will. This is where the lockpicking skill comes in. But, you know, we have we have so many picks that the, like we literally cannot pick up any more. So. This is only going to cost us four picks. Sabat rounds are pretty dope. Um, is, is it Sabat or Sabo? I have no idea. And, uh... Pick up one of these. Get rid of that. Weapon modification clip. Uh, let's 
squat rounds, the 20 HE ammo. Now, equip, do we need anything that needs a uh, higher, maybe this needs better magazine? I think we can safely drop the knife now that we have the dragon tooth sword. They're pretty ubiquitous uh, in the game as well, so we're gonna go ahead and drop that. Grab this weapon mod. I guess it's fine. We've been finding lockpicks fucking everywhere. Um, here's the only other dead body left. Got a PMA clip. All right. I guess there's just nothing you can do except for. Uh, you have to deal with these guys somehow. Uh, there's got to be a way to turn off the lasers, but I don't know. It. Anyways, I'm not sure, but I think we can keep the Dragon Teeth Sword. Um, so that's pretty cool. Uh, let's go ahead and save again. And we're actually going to go back into her apartment just in case there's anything we missed. Can I please get the... I don't know why the elevators keep descending. Oh, that's what that button's for. Okay. Inside. One thing that's cool about uh, Hong Kong as well is that uh, they, they, there's no loading zone for Maggie's apartment. It's all part of this uh, greater map. Just going to make sure we're friendly with everybody still. Yeah. So we're all good. So another save. Uh, what does it say here? Let's see. Goals and notes. Guilt to the red arrow by showing Max Chen to grab, find Max Chen in the Lucky Money Club. Okay. Secondary goals. Find evidence in the police station in the lunchroom. Bring it to Maggie Chow to earn her trust. Well, I tried to do that. I'm hoping for some extra XP uh, after doing that, but I can't find her. This is a dead end. I advise you to turn back toward him. Actually, why are we going back to Chow's apartment? There's nothing. We already found everything. Yeah, we found everything. We're good to go. I myself have been watching Ms. Chow. If only I knew where the hell she was. Not advisable for tourists to visit the canals at night. Yeah, I think this is the way back, yeah. Here's the Lucky Money Club. Let's go talk to Max Chen. Let's also see if our uh, special lady friend. Yay! Time is up. Come on! Let's go. She's still here. Excellent. Don't worry, we'll get your gun. Yeah, we're good. Kind of wondering if I need the stun baton anymore either. So let's check skills. 4,030 skill points. Rifle is 3150. Computer, I kind of want to upgrade, but it's not super important. And 3600 for electronics. But here's the thing. Why would we want electronics upgraded? It just reduces the amount of multi-tools we use. But we're, again, we're at a maximum of multi-tools. So it's not that big of a deal right now. So I think actually the most important ones we can upgrade right now are... Well, computer would be nice because then we can actually uh, switch turrets. And then... Uh, it would be nice to master this one, but yeah, this probably needs to be advanced, almost certainly, at some point. Um, so we might actually do that. I was going to try and go for a stealthier no-kill run, but uh, that was frustrating and awful. Come on. How about that dance? I gotta be anything. So Thanks for getting me in. 
stay in the dance area. The year is 15. Wine is 120. I'll get a drink later. Well, how the hell do I see Max Chen if he's in what, like, if I can't? Do I just save and then just say fuck it and go back there and have everyone come shoot me or what? What do I do? One customer twice. Not allowed. Why is your hitbox so big? Just see what happens. I guess it was fine to just go this way. I see you in a corner, smoldering, hostile. Everyone will wonder who you are. I will have my eye on you. Follow the rules. Looks like we could make some money here. Satisfy? <gasps> yes? Yeah? I guess this is not the back of the club that I thought it was. I guess we actually have to go back here. I guess this is fine, I don't know. Oh, I see. Excuse me, sir. This room is off limit. It's okay. I'm here to see Max Chen. He'll expect me. An American. I hope he likes what you have to say. Okay. Well, where is Max Chen? Isaac is letting anybody back here these days. There we go. Where's my companion? This is a nice the boardroom. I like the lighting in here. It's pretty Stop cool. Complete. This is a dope office. This guy's a James Bond villain, for sure. Look at this. Very nice. Present yourself to the Dragon Hand. You must be Max Chen. So? I have found something in Miss Chow's apartment that might interest you. Is that so? The sword was never destroyed. It was stolen, and she is the one who stole it. Preposterous! I have it right here. But, Miss Chow? She works for a group called Majestic 12. She's using you and the Red Arrow for her own ends. No, you must be mistaken. Think about it. She murders your predecessor, hides the sword, pushes the Red Arrow into the war with the Luminous Path, and then, what next? The Triads are weakened and an outside group seizes power. Sound far-fetched? Oh, there must be an explanation. Perhaps you should meet with the leaders of the Luminous Path. Hmm, perhaps. For now, take them this message. I will stop hostilities until I have completed an investigation. Boss, what is it? Marty at the door so we have trouble. Soldiers coming in. She's a dog, some kind of mech. MJ-12 troops. They must have followed me. Say your business and go. They are not human. I guess that's it. They took care of him for me. Well, my girlfriend's gone. What the hell is this? I don't remember these guys at all. I was just like, what is that low humming? Hmm, I wonder. I wonder what it could be. Is it me wasting resources? Alright, let's see. Goals, notes. Uh, tell Gordon Quick how the Red Arrow responded to the news. Okay. I guess I can still try and bring the news to Maggie Chow at some point.
Please stop shooting me. All right, I'm gonna let's go ahead and load the game. Time is up. Seriously? Oh my god. I had to, you know. You might be like, "What does he save?" Well, here's the, here's the thing. Like the minute I stop saving, like you know, incessantly, um, you got to redo all this stuff. Excuse me, sir. Isaac is letting anybody back here these days. Isaac is his name. Interesting name. You must be Max. I have. He's done the sword. The post. I have it right. What? She works for. No. Think about it. She murders your predecessor. Oh. Perhaps you. Hmm. Boss. What is it? MJ12. I'm gonna let the AI handle it because I just keep getting in the way. Nice. Got a bio cell. Red arrow. Another bio cell. Might as well go ahead and top off my uh, bioelectric energy. Uh, let's go ahead and make a new save, shall we? So we don't get screwed like last time. Now I'm gonna let the police deal with this. We good? Okay, the police are not mad at me. That's good. Let's go pick up whatever this guy had. Why did he shoot me in the thigh? What is wrong with him? Why are the police shooting at me? I'm, con I'm confused by this. You know what? Uh, I'm just going to put my weapon away and have the police deal with it. Oh, for fuck's sake. Shit. Ooh, another one up here. Yeah, the AI in this game, uh... Well... What else can I say about it that you can't already see on the screen? really don't want to have to shoot through the police. This is not... Now, the police didn't see me shoot anybody or kill anybody, so I don't know what this is all about. Let's make a new hard save and see if we can get the hell out of here. If not, we're just gonna... Time is up. <laughs> Man, she is uh, the definition of loyal. See? It's all because they saw me kill that guy, even though, like, that doesn't make any sense. That's some screwed up AI. Alright, so I'm gonna take this to, what's his face? Gary. What is his name? Gordon Quick. <laughs> I knew it was a weird name. I guess the kid got the job. want to do business in Wang Chai? We already have an arrangement with the Luminous Path. Do you want to do business in Wang Chai? Okay. Please, look around. Let's go back to the temple. You're right. Maggie Chow is a con artist. You have proof? Yes, I found the sword in her apartment. Good. Inform the Red Arrow Dragon Head. Then we will see who is the real traitor. I've already been to the Lucky Money. Max Chen has declared a truce between the Red Arrow and the Luminous Path. A truce? Are you certain? Majestic 12 attacked the club. I think he would consider forming an alliance. Mr. Denton, you are the man I hoped you were. Tracer Tong is inside, in his laboratory below the compound. The door is in our sparring room. He will know what to do next. To enter our compound, Use the code 1997. Isn't that when Hong Kong was given back to the British? Or <laughs> given back. Uh, given back to the Chinese government? 
I think it is getting late, guys. I definitely want to finish up Hong Kong, and then I think we're good. Is this it? Okay, we have to use it out here, too. Okay, let's check our skills here. So we definitely have enough to upgrade rifle. Um, 4380 minus 3150, and I don't know how much that's going to leave left for anything else. But like I said, computer don't absolutely need it. Electronics don't absolutely need it. Um, that's the only thing I absolutely would like to have some more training in. And then whatever else we upgrade is gravy. I don't think I'm going to put any more in a low tech because I'm not sure. I'm not 100% sure that low tech actually buffs your use of the sword. So that was a big mistake. We could have had more weapon specialization, I think, and had some fun with some heavy weapons and stuff. But we'll see. We'll see how the game goes. While you are here, observe the laws of the triad. You must have won great favor with the dragon head. I think so. I think I did. It's a little ridiculous I have to use the flashlight just to like get around corners and stuff because it's so dark sometimes I can't see. I think I didn't pay I kept like I was just like, oh, I don't care about the story. So I think I just kept like switching through all the menus as fast as possible uh, and all the dialogue as fast as possible the first time I played. Um, so that when I got in here, I was like trying to sneak in. And I think I was like knocking these guys out. Oh man, I was so stupid. Shit happens. Let's talk to T Money. Don't need any of this stuff. Do I have any? No, I don't have any space for soy. Is there anything that I can get rid of? Clip size. I guess I'm gonna put it on this one. Yeah, I'm gonna put it on that one. It would be nice to have a bit of clip. Clip size, magazine size. They've got me saying it now. Do not interrupt us with questions. Combat knife, book. Chinese silver loaves, three quarters cup of hot water, three tablespoons of sugar, two tablespoons of vegetables, shortening or oil, six cups of plain flour, two tablespoons baking powder, one teaspoon of salt. Add sugar and shortening to hot water. Still, uh, can't be asked. <laughs> I'm feeling a little fatigued right now, guys, so I'm definitely ready to finish up this part of the game. I don't think it's done yet, though. I think we have Versa Life after this, so. Like I said, guys, this is a long game. Especially the way that I'm playing it right now because I want to explore and see everything. Journal of Hung Kwang Gordon Quick. It is a steel in her heart, much like that of her father, that leads me to love her. How unfortunate that the old gods should laugh and she should be the child of the dra their dragon head. The man who would lead the red arrow against the luminous path and destroy all we have sought to create for the celestial kingdom. But I know that whatever fate has decreed us, we will talk. We will walk the road together. There will be no betrayal in the feelings we have for each other, and no teachings that can show me the error in our actions. Today, Master Tong has informed me that we will have visitors. I just got a med kit. <laughs> Nice, more prod charges. Already have enough of that type of ammo, okay. Don't need an extra sword, and throwing knives are kind of cool, actually. I didn't even know they were in the game until um, recently, but... The reason I'm picking up so much sword is they, they restored five health per, uh, per use, so... Wait, can I just, like, double-click these? No, I actually have to click that. Okay, that's obnoxious. I like the texture work on this carpet here. You see, the overall look of the of the temple here is pretty dope.
I don't know why I always thought I was breaking into places the first time I played this. It's weird. I don't think that's true. No, it's not. You must be JC. Tom will see you now. Just looking for stuff to pick up. I don't. Just step footing around it and just get to the plot. Here we go. Mr. Tong, you know my brother Paul Denton. Yes, a reliable man. So your kill switch has been activated. I feel fine, but it's been over 16 hours. See how easily our technologies turn on us? The more power you think you have, the more quickly it slips from your hands. Can you do something about it? That will depend. You, like your brother, are an extraordinary piece of technology. I never pass up the chance to try a new blade, but I fear at the crucial moment I may lift up my arm to strike and you will twist free of my grasp. In other words, I'll owe you a favor. Indeed, as will your friend Mr. Jacobson, a man of much useful knowledge. He arrived in Hong Kong shortly after you did. I was forced to keep him in custody until I could verify his identity and his loyalties. I assume he checked out. I believe he is sincere. Now, go down the stairs to the operating platform, and I will examine your systems. Weird that we didn't find any odd canisters, especially in Maggie Chow's house. Let's go ahead and grab a nano key. Credit shit. Um, get Tong's crazy cyberpunk uh, medbay thing. Illuminati Information Systems, IIS. Okay, Alex, look at the Hicknet, Inadco scenes, required objectives, Inadco 12 weeks. I would like to read all of these, but, uh... Wait, hold on. This is a per... Let me try mine. Uh, JCD, Bionic, man. No. Uh, so there was something for me, it was two JC Denton, so... Unless that's just showing that Tracer Tong has been monitoring my communications. MJ-12 Nano Augmentation Experiment Series 3C for internal use only. Recent human trials and subsequent mortality studies have demonstrated that nano augmented, that nano augmenting of based on human physiology is not without hazards. Notably, key anatomical regions can support only limited augmentation without risking rejection or accelerated degeneration. Research is ongoing. Recurrent data suggests the following nano augmentation combinations have acceptable risk. Oh, and this is so. This is an in. This is a lore-friendly way of, of sort of explaining why you can't put both augmentations on at once. And also why in Invisible War, you don't have to choose. Uh, you just choose which ones are uh, in your quick access uh, inventory, but you can switch out your augmentations uh, on the fly. Um, so you can get both the silent running and the extra jump, uh, jump height and speed. At the, you can have both of those, you just can't use them at the same time. Um, since it takes place in the future, that's kind of cool that they... So the gameplay following the lore and all of that stuff, that's pretty cool. In Series 3D, we'll examine the viability of genetically suppressing the immune response through Epsilon Elimination. Project Dybbuk, Thoughts and Meditations, written by Honored. As the most dignified in the, of the Celestial Kingdom had expected, inquiries into the nature of MJ-12 and the so-called Project Dybbuk were quickly declined in extreme, an extremely abrupt manner and resulted in the unfortunate but necessary loss of one humble servant who will forever be exalted in the annals of our organization. However, further perseverance... Per, sorry guys, with a music in my head too, it's hard to read. Further perseverance has suggested that the aforementioned project involved the quiet acquisition of Chinese technology that was later applied to the invention of an improved stealth helicopter for use in covert MJ-12 operations. A careful examination of electronic traces would lead an astute observer to conclude that this information was liberated during a number of skilled intrusions into Chinese corporate data wells originating from UNACO headquarters in New York, which in turn leads to certain questions about links between UNACO and MJ-12.
I gotta look up that trilateral commission because they are mentioning it a good in this game. I mean, it didn't just now, but I was just thinking about it. It's a plasma rifle, ballistic armor. Let's go ahead and drop this for the time being and pick this up. Let's just expand the magazine capacity of that gun. Go back to this, that looks good. Confined space. Got another lamb. Can never have too many of those in this game. Stupid flares. Rebreathe. Oh, very nice. That we might actually need that, and sooner than you'd think. So, what can I get rid of? Well, I should think about upgrading one of my augs. The healing would be nice. Dermal armor seems to be pretty crappy thus far, so maybe we need to upgrade that. What are we having the most trouble with? How many medkits do we have? We have seven medkits. We're not always healed very well. Speaking of which... If I had two upgrade canisters, I'd be feeling better about this, but... Loving this fucking music. It is loud though, especially when I'm trying to read. Um, health, hogs. I know I need to upgrade something, but I don't know what yet. Not this, not this. Probably not this. I haven't found a ton of use for moving bigger boxes and stuff. Uh, subdermal, yes, this would be nice, and this would also be nice. And this would also be nice, but I'm gonna still hold on to it. We can always pick up that rebreather later. It's it's not going anywhere. It'll be here. I do have soy as well. Could have gotten rid of that for the rebreather. I may get rid of the baton at some point. Because I can always use the stun prod instead of the baton. Nice, high explosive ammo. We're gonna need that. Oh, what a waste. With the bot here, I could have done that. You also note that the uh, augmentations are physical objects you have to pick up and carry in your inventory and take with you when you want to do stuff. Um, which means that a player that's not paying attention or just trying to run through will quite easy, uh, very easily miss them and have quite a bit of trouble with the rest of the game as a result. So, it's kind of an interesting, it's not a lot of hand-holding with this game whatsoever, which is once again why I'm glad I did the tutorial. One of the channels I subscribe to, I, I like his content, is, is Strat Edgy Productions. He did a whole video talking about the first level of Deus Ex and how it's confusing for new players and players didn't know how to do this or do that, and I'm just like, and he, he was sort of critiquing it, not saying it was bad, like a bad game, but like that it needed more tutorialization. And I'm like, there is a tutorial. There's a training mission at the beginning that teaches how to do all this stuff. And quite honestly, I would have had the same attitude that the people he tested the game on had. Um, you know, I would have been like, what the f How do I do all this stuff? But the tutorial just helps you get like the controls and everything together. So you know what you're doing. Okay, I'm going to stop wasting time. Let's talk to what's his face down here, and then let's get in the let's get in the share. I thought I told Reyes to meet me here too. Maybe he'll show up later. You took a 
big risk following me here. Thanks. When you believe in something, you've just got to do it. How'd you find Tom so quickly? Turns out I knew him all along. TT undernet.0924.243.886. I posted a message to the board and he contacted me himself. Any news from Jaime? No sign of him yet. I hope he made it. Yeah, me too. Did you ever dig up anything about this Daedalus character? I'm still hearing from him. Actually, I did, sort of. Crypto says Daedalus was supposedly a government AI project, also known as Echelon 4. Supposedly? I'm getting this from anonymous crypto boys. Daedalus was supposed to be the old content recognition problem in surveillance. It was a program that could search all the terabytes of intercepted messages for subversive content. So, what happened? Never panned out, as far as I know. The problem was just too hard. They blew through a lot of taxpayer money, but finally had to scrap the whole project. So the thing that's talking in my head is, what, uh, resurrected AI? I wish I knew. Get out of my way. Alex. There we go. There we go. Multi-tool, plasma clip, candy bar, multi-tool. Okay, I can't grab that. All right, let's get on with it. Stay right there. Oh, oh, God. Oh, 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 God. It didn't actually hurt me. That's it? A simple switch, as they call it. Have you heard from Paul? On his way, according to Smuggler in New York. He will be fine. Meanwhile, we still face the likelihood of a triad war here in Hong Kong. Quick and Chen declared a truce just a few minutes ago. A good bit of diplomacy, I admit. But it won't hold. Not with the sword left to be fought over. I think they'll be slow to anger with Maggie Chow out of the picture. No. In their system, the sword is a doomsday weapon. A temptation. We must recover the ramen coating from VersaLife and make it available to both triads. So that's all you expect in the way of a favor? A little corporate espionage? The first of many favors. Remember, I saved your life. <laughs> now pay attention. The VersaLife elevator north of the market will require an employee number. Try 06288. Once inside, find Mr. Hundley, the shift supervisor. He can be persuaded to give you access to the labs. Hundley. You will find him receptive. He is the corrupt official who sold the Red Arrow the technology to begin with. I'll find the ramen coating, but I'm not your henchman. I'll help you as long as we have a mutual interest. If you choose to fight Majestic 12, you will need an ally. We will have a mutual interest for some time. In fact, I took the liberty of setting up a computer account for you. Login JC Digton. Password Sanctuary. Feel free to use the machine in my office. I figured they'd give us a login, because I, I saw the emails. It said to JC Denton, so let's go. Okay, Alex Jacobson, welcome to the fold. Uh, from Alex J. Well, I've got your accounts all set up and you should be ready to go. Everything communications uh, on tracers. Everything communications on Traver's computers are completely ghost encrypted, so even if they go out over the standard HK net, there's no way anyone can intercept or read the messages. I've been talking a lot to Tracer, and he's really into a, a really an amazing person. I think I can learn a lot from him. I know you might find this odd, but all the time I worked for Yonako seems like a dream, killing time in some virtual world, so I didn't have to make the hard choices like in the real one. Now I feel like I've finally woken up. Daedalus, required objectives. 
There is little time. You should know that the organization for which you have worked, whose goals and interests you believe to be your own, is not what it seems. UNACO is merely an arm of a larger entity known as Majestic 12. Majestic 12 sees, seeks to use force and intimidation to seize absolute control of everything. They will not hesitate to use all means necessary to achieve this goal, and have engineered the disease referred to as the Grey Death in an effort to accomplish this. They must not be allowed to succeed. Your brother has been taken... Um, Oh, sorry, your brother has been an aid to me in this matter, but cannot help me any longer. You must take his place. The Great Death is a nanotechnology engineered virus, nanotechnologically engineered virus. You are immune, but others are not. You must locate the universal constructor used to create the Great Death and destroy it. My information indicates that it is in Hong Kong, housed in a Majestic 12 facility beneath a corporation known as VersaLife. You must not fail. So yeah, that explains why uh, when they were doing experiments on Paul in the uh, MJ-12 lab beneath Unaco, that he was immune. Um, once again, engineered viruses to help uh, secure uh, political power. Huh? Ringing a bell? Uh, from S. Carter, uh, subject sick ref uh, to Jason Den. They'd fire me on the spot if they knew I was sending you this message, but I've got a feeling they'll be drumming me out of any any day now as, as is. Alex tells me there's no way this communication can be traced, so I trust that he knows what he's doing. I understand why you did it. Being a soldier isn't just following orders, it's following those orders in the service of, high, of a higher cause. When that cause is betrayed, we're not soldiers anymore. Just pieces on a chessboard dying for the wrong reasons. Things have been bad since you left. Mandalay, Mandalay was dis has disappeared. They say he's been relieved of duty. The director of FEMA, Walton Simmons, has assumed interim authority, but there's something about him I don't like. He seems reasonable, but there's something behind his eyes. I saw the same look on men in combat, when all the part of them that was human just left. I have some friends who used to be associated with UNADCO. They've disappeared, but I may see if I can find them again. Maybe will it be useful to you? We'll see. In the meanwhile, do what you think is right, JC, and let the devil take the rest. Um, I keep forgetting this guy's name, Walton Simmons, but he's the guy with the weird, like, um, cyberpunk... Uh, sort of like, um, what are they called? Man, it is late. <laughs> it's late for me. Uh, you know, when you etch your circuit board so you can lay in the, the connections. Um, he's got those all over his head and everything like that. And I think that he's alluded to in Human Revolution and Mankind Divided as well. Um, so, uh, anyways, that's what we got on our computer right now. I think we're about to wrap up this episode. Uh, I am just going to get us out of here and head to the VersaLife building. And you know what? We're going to need this rebreather for something at some point. So what in here can I... How much ammo do I... I have quite a bit of ammo for this fucking thing. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to drop the baton for now, here, and see if it stays. Um, it's a gutsy move, but I think we need to do it because this will be nice to have. Trust me on this. Actually, not just in this level. There's another part. Once again, even if you make bad decisions with your skill investment, and augs and everything like that there is still ways for the to get around it in the game that's an, another thing that people love in the game is that it's hard to play it super wrong you know you may not get exactly the build that you were hoping for with certain decisions um you know and you may make uh arguably poor investments into your character, but they're never going to be so f***ed up that you can't recover from it and that you're totally screwed, you know what I mean? While you are here, observe the laws of the triad. And in addition to that, um... There's, there's always ways around it, you know, like, um, there's a couple of points in the game we're going to be getting close to one. Go away! Where... Uh, swimming not touch. is kind of necessary and we've already noticed a couple of points where it would have been nice to have points in swimming were the game to dole out uh, more than just a few skill points actually we're gonna go ahead and say we just did a bunch of stuff okay what is it um, 06288 <laughs>
Welcome to VersaLife. You make tomorrow look like yesterday. How can I help you? I'm looking for Mr. Hundley. He's upstairs making his rounds. Look for a man in a black suit. Thank you. So this is the VersaLife Corporation. If I'm not mistaken, this is actually a prominent company featured in Human Revolution, although it's been a while, I don't remember exactly, so. I always thought this building was kind of cool and very weird as well. Uh, anyways, the next part of the game is going to be us breaking into the VersaLife building and uh, I guess shutting down whatever's manufacturing uh, the nanotechnological grade death virus. We'll see though. Um, again, I don't know the plot super specifically because it's been a while. So uh, that will put us at about... Uh, there's 13 missions in the game, so that will help us being uh, that will help us round out and finish the third mission. Technically, the sef seventh mission isn't super long; it's just going back through Hell's Kitchen. Um, but after that, I do remember the next mission after that being fairly long, the naval shipyards. Um, so halfway, I wouldn't say so because Paris is pretty long. It's not a short level at all. Uh, and the, the cathedral's not short either. Um, and then the Air Force Base and Sub Base are not uh, short at all. Um, so yeah, we've, we're, we're actually... In terms of missions, we should be about halfway through the game. I'd say we're closer to... I don't know, four-fifths, maybe a little bit less. Um, because some of these missions coming up later can be pretty long, especially the way we've been playing. Although, I will say this, more of the RPG, open world, explore, talk to people aspect, that kind of gets scaled back the more we go through the game. You know, I think um, after Paris, there's not much more of that at all. It's all pretty much just, you know, missions we have to break into a place or, or get from one side of the map to the other and, you know, find some piece of tech or or kill somebody or blow something up or whatever so that's how the rest of the game shakes out after that so it might go a little bit faster if we're just having to complete objectives but we'll see anyways uh thanks again for joining me guys on this episode of let's play deus ex i'm hoping to get through the rest of the game very soon and then we can get a review up for it um and i hope you guys have been enjoying it as much as i have i will say that this once again i have to reiterate did not like the game the first time I played it through, and this is really breathing some new uh, respect into it for me. It's really breathing in some new um, enthusiasm for me, and I'm really liking, you know, you just have to change your mind about how the game's supposed to be played. Another thing I'm really liking that this is, I think, why people love this game so much, is that every time I go into a combat situation, and it kind of blows up in my face, and I go, ah, crap. All I have to do is change my tactics slightly and it just completely tips the balance in my favor um, for the battle. You know what I mean? Um, so it's really a game that's about experimentation and playing with all of the systems and all of the tools that you have available to try and just get through it. Um, I do like that even on normal I find it fairly difficult and because, you know, it's an RPG, things like reloading your weapon take a very long time. Um, weapon accuracy is pretty terrible, all these kinds of things, uh, so that, you know, your raw skill as a player isn't really going to help you that much, so difficulty almost doesn't matter that much in the game. There's a couple of situations where it's nice to be able to soak up a little bit more damage, um, but uh, by and large, it's, in even on normal, I feel like I don't have that much health, and so really it's a game about, like, just trying to set up uh, the encounters as tactically as possible. Even if you're playing it more like a shooter and using a lot of guns, um, you have to really think about what you have available. And, and you, it, like we faced, we saw earlier, if you're facing overwhelming odds, you know, maybe just throw a lamb down the, the corridor or, or what have you. Um, dying and saying, well, that didn't work, and having to go back and rethink again about, okay, what is a better way to do this? Like the helipad, where those two robots come out. I didn't have anything in my inventory to take them on head on, not really. I thought I had HE grenades in my assault rifle, but I didn't. But of course the game, there's always something else you can do. I've, I remembered, oh yeah, I can go and sneak in behind him and then just drop EMP mines. You know, or I can do this, or, um, you know, whatever. 
Uh, so another thing that I could have done that I didn't even realize is that all of that debris right there I think can be destroyed. So I could have loaded up a lamb and tossed it across the room to blow up the debris and then I could have turned my uh, speed augmentation on and just beelined it for the elevator. So that's another thing you could have done. So um, I'm tired of people troping immersive sims as just multiple solutions when you encounter problems in the game and that's like what they're all about. That's, in my opinion, that's not really what they're about, but that is a big part of Warren Spector's core design philosophy, and it is just, his fingerprints are all over this game because this was really his baby. Um, so his particular taste for games is all over this game, and you can see why. You know, I actually looked at, uh, looking back at Warren Spector's career, I'm like, okay, the early part of his career was pretty cool, but it had its ups and downs, and then he came out with this, and then after this, uh, he worked at Iron Storm, they did Thief Deadly Shadows and then Invisible War. And then he kind of like faded, not into obscurity, but he just, there, he wasn't working on a ton of project and then there were projects and then there was Epic Mickey. And since then there hasn't been much. So kind of got to wonder like, why is he, why is he so, st still so revered as like people are just like, oh, Warren Spector's working on something, I have to know what it is. It's primarily this game. And now going through it with a different set of eyes and understanding more of like, what the game is trying to be rather than me saying like oh well it suck like you know me having a better understanding of of what the game is really about um i'm having a much better time playing it i'm actually like um today when i started playing i was just i didn't expect i mean i, I wanted to get this far in terms of uh completion into the game but i didn't you know I didn't want it to take this long, but I found myself like being completely like lost while playing this game and like realizing, oh my god, I've been playing for this many hours, I need to like wrap it up, you know, it's late, I'm exhausted. So I'm getting lost in the experience and it's not hard, you know, the first time I played it, it really pushed myself through and this time it's just not. I'm just enjoying almost every single minute of it and um, I think a lot of people have had that experience and it's largely due to the fact that I have a better understanding of what this game is about now. and. Um, because of that, I understand why, even if this was the only game War Inspector ever made, people would still be like, okay, what is he working on now? We have to check it out, you know? Um, that being said, I do think that, um, Human Revolution and Mankind Divided are actually, in some ways, more advanced in what's going with this. I think that the simplicity of of the geometry in the levels and so to the simplicity of the AI. The AI is simple but also not in this game. It can do, you can exploit it in a lot of different ways and you have a lot of different tools. And I don't know that the tool set is as robust in, in Human Revolution and Mankind Divided. And I think the AI has a little bit more self-preservation so it's harder to exploit it. So, what, so some of these cascading fun crazy events that you can get in a game like Deus Ex 1, you may not see in the newer games. But it does make it, I guess, more realistic or, or more um, akin to what you'd expect the AI to be doing or ex how you'd expect the game to play. So yeah, these cascading events of like craziness and stuff like that. Also, I mean, playing through Mankind Divided, uh, it's definitely more of a game that needs to be played with a stealth edge. And this is too, but as we've already noticed, just dropping a couple of points into... Um, weapons you know assault rifle or whatever and then and then you know turning on your um subdermal armor augmentation allows you to kind of get into full uh you know um, full-scale combat with people without having to like you know hide all the time and stuff like that so um at least much more than i thought it was going to be originally so um That's not necessarily the case in Human Revolution or Mankind Divided, where um, I feel like you can, you have to, you know, used to use the, the the cover system and take pot shots and stuff like that. So you can get into firefights, but it's not the same as you know just running around and kind of shooting everything up um, like you can sort of do in this game. Um, and this game has like a bit more like campiness and tongue-in-cheekness to it, you know, where. 
you've got the lightsaber that you can use to like hack people to bits and stuff you're not gonna be able to like there's not a lot of melee builds or melee weapons and things like that that you can use in the newer games i think they did go more down the path of let's make it a little bit more stealth focused um so i think that's another reason that they're not as impactful to a lot of people as this game when it was when it came out because it doesn't really matter what kind of gamer you are going into this you can find your niche in it i think the worst thing you can do though with this game is try and force it to be something it's not turning into for you you know or or make assumptions about what it's supposed to be you know just start finding a groove and here's the other cool thing about deus ex is that it's not like you find a niche and it just stays there for the whole game right um or you find a groove and you're like, okay, I just have to play like this for, you know, the rest of the game. No, like, I've noticed that my playstyle is constantly in flux. I started as non-lethal and stealthy, and then um, that kind of got annoying, so I started, you know, and I kept fucking up the stealth, so then I, I had to do a lot more evasion and, and getting around people and then trying takedowns and then hitting them with the baton, and then I put some points into melee, and then I started using, just trying to beat the shit out of everybody with, like, batons and crowbars and stuff. Um, and now I realized, well, you know, the, the RNG uh, point allocation at the beginning of the game just trained me in assault weapons anyway, so I might as well start using them. And then I realized that a trained skill, I used to think, you know, when I first played the game, like, oh, if you're not close to master, like advanced or master, there's no point in using this. No, trained is actually pretty good in this game. Trained with most guns will, will get the job done. I mean, it's not great, but you can still use them. It's not like they're pea shooters, you know? So that's another cool thing, is that your playstyle can can um, be in flux, even with sort of more rigid RPG rules, you know? Um, but it can still stay in flux, because it's a very open-ended game. So that's another thing I like about it. Now I've blathered on enough about my sort of takeaway after playing this next part of the episode. So thanks again for joining me on this Let's Play of Let's Play Deus Ex. And let's break into the VersaLife facility uh, next time and uh, uh, see if we can stop the Grey Death. Alright, once again, thanks again guys and that will be it for me.